Okay, so uh, does anybody want to do a recap of last week? Or do you want me to do it? I can do it, I think. Tyburn. I recall everything correctly. So, I forget all the lead up to it, but we had gone into a tower where we had run into uh, Lie Borkvard. Very much a lie. Uh, and he was egging us on to try to follow him to where like a ritual was taking place. And where I, I'm not sure if they're dead because we jumped through a portal after Midge had the brilliant idea, or Arlox had the brilliant idea of smashing the thing with a hammer. A demon hammer, I might add. The ritual orb. They're causing the tower to collapse. As far as we know, the tower has collapsed. Briel Borkvard went running down the stairs. Edmund and uh, who else was in there? Lady, Lady Kiva had come, come with us and is very much dead because her brain jumped out of her head. The commish yeah. died there as well. He was he, he didn't get through. Who? The commish didn't make it through. The commish the you oh because like, he, he was hoarding gold. Yeah. yeah. We had all jumped through. Roach had been pushed back though because the 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 orb thing about Bob had done like a shockwave type thing, so he got pushed through I guess as well. And we all ended up in this other realm, which is the Fey realm that we're all sitting in uh, right now. Where we're getting treatment for fuck, who was it? Who was it that needed treatment? NGP. Right, NG. Well, NG got cured of slod nonsense. Yeah, yeah. Was Art Yay, there, slod nonsense. Artlox got, uh, got Art stupefied. Locks. Yeah, we fixed him and his stupid. We fixed his retardation. Done, done, the done. Or we're, we're in the process of it. No, we fixed it. It's being no, fixed right now. That. I think. And right now, we're trying to figure out how to get out of here. Yeah. That's 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 pretty good. Um. So yeah, so when we left off, uh, you guys were being brought to kind of like the main temple, which is um, uh, posted up on this large hill. Um, Going to talk to a lady, Azonza? Azonza, yeah. So uh, for for the sake of brevity here, I think we can say that you have been brought to uh, Lady Azonza, who is the uh, the queen of this uh, like enclave of elves. And what would you like to ask her? How to leave. I believe. Okay. Um, Get back to so our realm. At there... our time span as well. <laughs> Specifically from the date we left it. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> well, um, she That's informs your... you that, that, she, that she informs you that there is a uh, a portal back to the material plane in um, Jalalathel, which is the city you're in. Um, but you guys have to prove yourselves worthy to use it before you're allowed to. What must we do to prove our worth? There, um, there's a tri- uh, there's a trial, uh, and uh, for for the sake of brevity, I'm trying to just get through this beginning part fast so that we can get Hadrian, uh, Chris into into the game. Um, you were taken to a. Uh, the backside of the temple that you guys were in before where you were cured because it, it, that was built up against the side of a, of, of a sheer cliff where like a hill had been cut away. They take you to the back of it and uh, ask you to enter through a set of double doors which are open before you. Well, I'm going to sure, why not? go in there and see Darth Vader. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, can I get a marching order? Who's going in? In what order? Um, someone will need to play parry, by the way, if Angie's not here. Well, he mostly just hits things, so. Are you okay to do it? I'll just, I'll just, I'll just have him hit things. Unless you, if, if somebody wants me to have him do something specific, let me know. So parry's first. I'll go next. Tyburn's second. I'll go third. I'll go Art fourth. I'm never getting, never getting the stuck class. in the middle, the uh, back again. I guess I'll be last. Okay. See, here's the thing, guys. If I have to fire a firebolt at you, or a fireball, and you're in range, not my fault. You want to go first? <laughs> no, <definitely. laughs> sounds, sounds like Cosmo wants to go first. I got one second for me. Thought I had something on this map, but it doesn't appear to be there, so I gotta loop it in. Oh yeah, Ben, just just for um 
going back to our thing, I've put the mace firmly in the bag. F- firmly? Yeah. Very firmly. All right, so uh, you, the, the doors are open before you, revealing a 10-foot wide hallway that is laid with perfectly cut stone tiles. Um, the hallway is just, it's straightforward, long and dark, and a, uh, an, a very elderly elf um, uh, with a walking staff follows you in. So it's just you guys and him, and then the doors are shut behind you. Uh, Almost like went to Roger Cube. Answer me these questions, too. <laughs> Stay a while and listen. <laughs> well, that would he would be really useful for you guys because he identifies items for free. All right, so um, as it stands right now, you guys are all just in this long hallway, and you can see flickering firelight coming from a chamber down the ways. Um, Artlox is really the only one who has a good sight right now because of the uh, of the darkness. What do you guys want to do? Doesn't Rebecca have magical dark vision? Yeah, I, I have magical dark vision. <laughs> well, I forgot about you because you weren't here, so... Uh, <laughs> I cast you, you, light. Tyburn well. casts light on his pendant, and I'm going to put you The guys... normally innocuous spell eats, <laughs> eats Tyburn. <laughs> Alrighty, let's see. Okay. Do do there we go. I there's I have so many maps lined up that I have to drag you. I'll have to scroll over, drag you to one edge, scroll again, then drag you to the next section. Are these uh f- like um bowls or are they pressure plates? Uh, We're not up there yet. Yeah, you. It's just a hey, thing me, up there. Yeah. Do you guys? Who's have... right in front of me? I see two stereotypical wizards. Oh, uh, I accidentally dropped that in. Um. You guys, do you have, can you guys see the map correctly, line of sight, Gandalf? and all that? Yeah, um, I don't see any light. <laughs> Two Gandalfs so, just appear. Tyburn, the, Tyburn casts light on his pendant. All players see his light, which is forty twenty. It looks like there's light sources in the large chamber ahead. There are. There's like okay. fl- you can see like flickering firelight coming from the chamber ahead. Okay. Uh, the wizard that followed you in. Um, uh, I say wizard just because I used the wizard token, but that's what I'm going to call him from now, from now on. Uh, he doesn't say anything and just follows uh, uh, quietly behind you. I think we should go ahead. Uh, well, yeah. Uh, we're in an enclosed space with nothing really to do in here until we deal with this trial and get Let's out get of here. Let's get us Cosman. Okay, let's move forward. Actually, can we perception for traps? You most certainly can. <laughs> who needs tra- who needs to worry about traps? So, Artlox, <laughs> your elf you you look forward with your elf eyes into the flicking uh, flickering light before you, and uh, you can't pick up anything that easily uh, distinguishes a trap, a, a, a strange looking tile, or a break of the wall, or anything like that. You don't see anything along those lines. So, you gotta find some appropriate music to throw on. I like wow. how as soon as he said, like, oh, well, let's get going, nobody moved. Like, oh, sn- <laughs> fuck. <laughs> well, there. someone I think needs a control of NG because I'm not moving forward unless he's moving forward. I'm not, I don't want to take control of his okay. character. So I'm going to say NG moves up to the, uh, the precipice here. Yeah, the wizard right follows on. behind. Oh, so we've got pillars, I'm guessing, along the side. See- you see the in the room before you, you see uh, it's held up by these large stone pillars. Uh, the pillars are broken up into a, seri- a series of like step segments and they all have symbols written on them. Um, you see a statue of a, uh, of a magnificent elf in, um, in, in like glorious uh, armor and with a series of, of water basins in front of him. And you see a stairwell in the back. And there was something I made on this map that I don't see right now. Let me see if I can fix that. A giant open room with pillars. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, to back. Nope. How, why, why is it not there? Well, anyway, I'll put it in right now as I describe it to you. On the right side of the wall, um, between two pillars, you see a small stone table with a book on it and an inscription on the wall. And give me a second to actually put that stuff back in, so you can. I'm gonna walk out into the room. Tell two with arrows. 
<laughs> Do I recognize any of the symbols? Uh, the symbols seem to be in, in Sylvan. Okay. And it seems to, they seem to be... It, it goes up. Um, there seems to be six uh, like segments with symbols on them. It's tiered up. And uh, a different symbol on each tier. Mm -hmm. As it as it goes up, and it slowly gets a little bit smaller as it as it increases in height. Are they, are they the same on every pillar? Uh, they are. Every pillar is the same. Can you just pay, pay no attention to the floating book. How how, how many? Sorry, how many um, segments did you say there were? Six. Wait, what do the symbols look like? Uh, hang on a second. <laughs> Are you describing? Are you asking him to describe the shape of a language? Yes, that's fine. It's, it's fine. They're uh, they're letters. They seem to be random assortments of letters that don't f form any any words you are aware of. Well, okay. So my character has pulled out a piece of paper and something to write with, and I'm writing down those mm -hmm. letters, like tearing them up. And uh, uh, you can't see that bit of paper is too bright. <laughs> Yeah, so, uh, can, can I see what, oh my god, there's a floating table! Yeah, sorry. Oh my god. I, I, I don't know why it didn't save when I put this stuff in before. Everybody panic! Room is, so. is, is buffering right now. So there's, uh, that's where, there's a table, there's a stone table there with a book on it, and an inscription on the wall. What's the inscription on the wall look like? Rosebud. Okay. <laughs> Rosebud, yes. Gotten written Krakatoa. Down. Uh. Okay, you go up to the inscription, which is also written in Sylvan, and it seems to be, uh, it's five lines, and it reads, A house based on a foundation like the sky, a house one has covered with a veil like a secret box, a house set on a box like a goose, one enters it blind, one leaves it seeing. How do we understand that? <laughs> it's in Sylvan. It's you speak Sylvan. I speak Elven. Oh, I thought you spoke Sylvan. No. None of us, I don't think, speak Sylvan. Sylvan's all right, then like... it's all at Elven, because I thought I, I thought, I thought you guys spoke Sylvan and Elven. I, I'm sorry. No, I, I, that I that was just Elven. my mistake. Okay. And so it's in Elven. Okay. Um, Arlok never took Sylvan. He decided to take uh, Demonic. <laughs> yeah. I didn't, I, I didn't go for a, a remedial... I didn't go into remedial Feywild. Um... Can you repeat the uh, inscription on the wall? Yes. A house based on a foundation like the sky. Right. A coming. house one has covered with a veil like a secret box. A house set on a box like a goose. One enters it blind, one leaves it seen. Okay. Are the pillars in Elven now? Yes, I'm sorry. That was just my mistake. I thought you. I thought a couple of you guys spoke Sylvan. And no, three of us speak it. Elven. No one speaks Elven. Sylvan. That's what I meant. Yeah. Um, that was my mistake. What, what, what's on the pillars then? It's 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 letters, jumbled letters that don't form words. What are the letters? Uh, as you look at the different pillars, it seems that. Um, each pillar has uh, a set of letters on each co uh, uh, a piece of the column, and it forms the entire Elven language. Okay, so we've got to spell a word with these pillars. It's a riddle. Yeah, there's an answer oh, to the God. riddle. It has to be spelt with the walls. What's in the book? The book is... Uh, 
opened to a blank page. So what was the whole riddle? A house based on a foundation like uh, like the sky. A house one is covered with a veil like a secret box. A I can't even read my own fucking writing. A house <laughs> sat on a box That's like one. a goose. When yeah. enters it blind, when leaves it seeing. And all the, all the pillars around here have the entire language alphabet. like written on them, yeah. alphabet yes. on each um, pillar. The the entire Elven language is is on the pillars and in in different segments. So like one one like the top segment will have a couple letters, the next segment will have a couple not letters, the next segment that'll have a couple letters, and it goes up. It's about forty feet tall to the ceiling. So we have to assemble a text message on a flip phone. I'm guessing. <laughs> I'm, I'm guessing we have to write the thing in the book. Maybe, because it's in a blank page of the book. That's what I would assume. But can I have a look at the statue and the things in front of the statue before? Uh, there seems to be five identical basins um, in front of the statue. Uh, they all have different levels of water in them. One's like just a little tiny bit in the bottom. One's like filled all the way up to the top and so on and so forth. Okay, maybe um, do a it's our sustenance, so that we can finish this riddle. Uh, do a history check, did you say? Yes. Uh, it takes you a second, but you uh, you can't exactly put your finger on it. But you uh, you suss out that this is one of the um, uh, uh, one of the elven deities. You can't figure out exactly which one it was, but you can you remember you remember the face and, and the pose. What symbol does she have, uh, if, if any? It's a it's a it's a male. Oh, oh okay. he. Yeah. Understandable though, given it's an elf. Yeah, exactly. Bob understands. Is there a symbol of? Because if I know the symbol, I'll say it. But if, I probably don't know. I don't know all of them. <laughs> let me let me look because I don't have that written down. So let me look up this elven deity. See if there's an associated symbol. So maybe it's a five-letter word, and each level of the water in the basins represents the the different height on the pillars. So we fill each basin up to match the level. I don't see an associated <laughs> symbol okay. with the That's information given with this god. So maybe it's a five-letter word, and you have to fill the water to spell it out. Or the water's height could represent the height upon which the pillars, although there are six pillars. Yeah, there, there's more than six pillars. There's eight pillars. Uh. Five. It's there's four there. on each. There's four on each side. Uh, I think they're about 25, 30 feet apart. Yeah, they're about thirty feet apart. Perry goes up to the uh, up to the inscription and starts looking it over and whipping through the book. Oh, is there anything on the other pages of the book? Uh, as you start flipping through the pages, you can see that there's a lot of words scribbled into it and then crossed off. They seem to be random. As if people were guessing. Okay. Uh... So, what are you guys doing? So, it's got to be a. F it's, there's a lot of focus on the word house. I'm gonna guess church or temple. All right, what are you going to do with those assumptions? Starts. Well, okay, it's supposed to be a house, but it sits on a box like a goose. So it sits on a box of some sort. So it would have to have a, some sort of, what? what is that, basement? 
We're thinking in house terms, yeah. Wait, these are elves, though, so could it be like a tree? Because trees could be in a pot. <laughs> so they'd be the roots. They are wood elves. <laughs> they are hippies. <laughs> based, based on the... Oh, this guy. A house has covered with a veil, like a secret box, so trees have a, tree, uh, a leaf cover. We're all thinking, <laughs> like yeah. <laughs> well, Bo Bob has a couple guesses, but he hasn't he hasn't decided how he's going to well wait this... assemble them into a into an answer yet. What tree has a veil? Oh, a uh, willow. Willow, yeah. Can I, uh, Ben, can I it's look... The, it's the last sentence that's throwing me. Talk, what were you saying? Looking at the book, what are, like, some of the words that are crossed off? Are they just, like, random words? Yeah, it's just, it's just random. It's not, they're not laid out in, in, um, sentences. They seem to be in different handwritings made with different writing utensils. A lot of them are, like, vigorously scratched off. Are they all five-letter words, from what I can no. tell? Okay. No, they're they're all single words, but they vary in length. Because okay. Bob's guess does make sense with the last sentence. This is true. The whole end is it blind, end is it seeing, as in blind, uh, uh, is in levels of faith within people. I'm gonna hand Bob my pen. It's okay. I have my own. Oh. <laughs> 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 I'm guess we write, make a guess in I'm gonna write book. temple in Elvish into the book. All right, so Bob takes his quill, Get opens up to a, a fresh page, and scribbles down the word temple. You kind of put your quill down for a second and look around the room, and nothing changes. What's at the top of the staircase? It's a closed door. Anything on the door? Nope. <laughs> I say Melon. <laughs> the door opens. All right. <laughs> um, going back to the deity, does the deity look like an elf? Yes. I don't know. Wearing is. armor that lo the, the statue is looks like it's wearing armor made out of like armor. pure gold. Carries a very elegant looking bow and a sword. Oh, I don't remember who that is. <laughs> Mitch, uh, why didn't you pay more attention in your religion classes? In, in elf class. <laughs> yeah, in elf oh, religion gonna... class. I wasn't allowed to go because I'm not a full-blooded elf. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to try writing tree, and then if that doesn't work, forest. You write in tree, pause for a moment, and there are no changes in the room. You scratch it off, write in forest, wait for a moment, there's still no change. Are those basins actually like big enough to, or are they are they so heavy? How heavy are these things? I know they have the various amounts of water in them. They're they're on stone plinths, but they they're made out of metal, and they're not actually attached to the plinth. They're just kind of, it kind of looks like a walk. So you could you could you know with a good with you know a person on each side you could probably lift one of them off, especially the ones that have those smaller amounts of water in them. I fucking hate problem solving. <laughs> I'm just bad at it. Yeah. Well, not every problem is going to be solved by hitting it with a stick. I can't fun. even do that, though. I can't talk to a statue. Where's the uh, Where's the old elf dude? 
He's just standing where you guys entered from in that. I'm that gonna tunnel. ask He's him just... to come forward. All right, so you walk up to him, and you uh, you ask him to come forward, and he just stands there motionless. I'm gonna ask him who the statue is. Doesn't he doesn't respond? Is he just catatonic? Nope, he's there. He's just not answering you. He's being a moody elf. He has not entered the chamber. He's standing in the hallway, and he like. You, you can see he's he's standing there. He's blinking. He, you know he's shifting on his feet, but he's just not answering your questions. Can I do a religion check on the uh, the deity? Sure. So you take a look at the statue, it's uh, it's assemblage of weapons and armor, and you come to the conclusion that this is most likely uh, Coraline, oh god damn it, if I'm ever going to pronounce this right, Coraline Lorethian, which is basically the patron saint of the elves. Looks like Coraline Lorethian. <laughs> oh, okay, good. So that's it's basically um, like the, 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 like the Zeus of the elf elven race. De- race yeah. yeah. He's like the yeah. Zeus of the Elven Pantheon. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> would there be... Would I know... Uh, could I do a history check on any, like, correlation between this particular god and any story of something to produce to uh do with the the riddle like the that's things little, within the riddle that's a little vague you look at you trying to just suss out something specific i'm trying to think here i'm gonna try touching the letters on one of the pillars uh okay um uh, you as you lay your hand on on the the pillar you um it shifts just a slight bit underneath uh, your your light touch, and you notice that the, uh, the 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 base of the pillar rotates on itself pretty easily. Oh, so you could rotate the pillars to spell things. Yes. So there's the bottom one is the only one you can comfortably reach. Like maybe if you get up on your tippy toes or someone gave you a boost, you could get to the second one. Okay, so I reckon there's going to be multiple stages to this puzzle in this foot. So they're all going to be like eight little words, maybe. Or whenever we get a correct letter on one of the pillars, it's going to sink down or something. Do these pillars not touch the ceiling? They go all the way up. All the way up to the ceiling. It's about 40 feet tall total. So I'm going to try one of our answers. I'm going to... Like spell the elven word for temple along the base of the... uh, Did anyone try willow? No. Try willow. Uh, Perry's still standing at the table, and you, he hears you guys talking. He grabs a, a quill and scribbles in the word "willow." And there's no change. Okay, I'm gonna try spelling "temple" in Elven with the bottom layer of the pillars. How are you doing this? The like, like the, the 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 pillars it rotates around on itself, and you know there's just a, it, it, there's like a number of symbols on each kind of face so you you can rotate well, okay here's but the thing one, the, but you'll get like one letter facing every direction by rotating it i want the um the like the, the correct letter in my head to like face inwards like, to like further room. into the room yeah like in, on the inside of the room so uh the beginning of the word what word are you trying to spell temple temple and so you want like the 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 t or the e how do you want it? Which letter? 
So where I am now, it'd be like the T inwards. Okay, so you rotate the uh, the pillar. It moves quite simply. It feels so, like, you if, know, yeah, like if, if it was modern if technology, it would be like on ball bearings or something like that because it seems to, to rotate pretty simply or around its base, and you rotate it till you've got the Elven symbol for T facing inwards. Oh, so it is on the first thing. Okay, I'm going to move up and see if the second letter's up. Yeah, like each each thing has has like large sections of the alphabet on it. Not the entire alphabet, but at least half. So okay. it's pretty easy to find the the letters you're looking for. Okay, so I'm gonna do it so they're all facing in. So T E M P L E. But I'm guessing it's not quite the same word in Elven, maybe, and they might fill out. The uh, for the it. sake of simplicity, we'll say that the, the number of symbols is the same. It's the same shit. So we're looking for an eight letter word. Um. That's nine, fuck. <laughs> One house is covered with a veil like a secret box. House based on a foundation like the sky. A house as one. A house one has covered with a veil like a secret box. A house sat on a box like a goose. One enters it blind, one enters it seeing. One leaves it seeing. Leaves it seeing. Leaves it seeing. Perry walks up to one of the, the, the untouched pillars and just starts spinning it around. <laughs> well, how many letters are on a pillar? I'm going to say half of a language. Okay. And if, let's say, just for simplicity's sake, let's say there's the same number of characters, so we're not trying to get all crazy with the conversions here. Um, so 13, I'm going to try... 14. I'm going to try spending 13, hospital. 14 letters on each pillar. And they're all in... in on each, on each t like, tumbler. Each pillar has six tumblers that go up okay so so we've got six characters with 13 letters a piece and we have eight pillars so we've got probably a couple million permutations if we start working now we can have this done by next year <laughs> so um at, i'm gonna try just sitting there like, like like a bored kid just like as it starts <laughs> slowing down he hits it again and it starts and speeds it up as it slowed down he hits it again and it speeds up we just need um, to brute, brute force this like computer like modern computer hack. just get through <laughs> well we we could i've got a couple of things i got a couple of words i want to try okay um i want to try hospital and then i also want to try religion okay so are you going to enter those along the, uh, the yeah. word hospital or religion along the, the base mm -hmm. of all the pillars? Yeah. All right. So you uh, you go through the word. You go to each each pillar and, and you know, with that, without too much trouble, rotate it into position. You get to the one that Perry's playing with. You kind of have to, like, you know, like, like slowing down a fan. You have to put your fingers on it. <laughs> Slow it down. He looks a little miffed because he was having fun. Um, as you get to the last pillar, you move it into position and, uh, uh, you stop and just kind of look around the room for a second and it doesn't seem like much is going on. It seems the same. And then you notice that there seems to be black smoke oh, filtering no. into the room through the cracks in the pillars. You wait for a second more, and then you see silver smoke start to intertwine with the black smoke. I'm going to step away from the pillar. Moving yeah. <laughs> towards the center of the room. Oh, great. Uh... 
So every time we get one wrong, we're going to have to fight some sort of smoke monster. Um... And it just, like, as you guys are, are standing there, it's just slowly get, uh, coming in, you know, denser and denser. And the, uh, the black smoke and the silver smoke seems to be kind of swirling around in the center of the room. That can't be good. <laughs> um, I get, I'm guessing that word didn't work. Was that hospital? That was hospital. <laughs> I'm gonna quickly run around and try and spell religion. <laughs> so you, you like try, p trying to push the smoke out of, out of your face as you're going through it. It doesn't seem to b bother you too much, though. You rotate all the pillars again. Um, get to the last one, crank it into position, and as you do, you see the black smoke ooh, just all of a sudden it, it, it gets denser and it starts to f swirl into a form and you see what looks like the immense form of, of, of like a human humanoid shape hovering off the ground with this black smoke swirling around it and a like really really large silver like great sword in its hand and it's just it's a swirl the smoke is swirling around in the center of the room and it seems to be coming out of this form and i need everybody to roll initiative oh no oh, bollocks <laughs> Uh, where did I put my character sheet? Talk, don't fuck it up this time. I did it this time! My first time for everything. I know! Uh, Tog is learning! Bollocks, 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 I was hoping to do this without a comment. <laughs> oh, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ! What the <laughs> shit is that? I, I used the, the token from the Wraith, because I couldn't find a good analog for what I was using, but basically what you see is there's like a plane hovering off the ground of this swirling black smoke, and then this humanoid form rising up out of it. Good. And it seems to like fill the, in it's larger than the statue that it's 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 like obscuring right now. It's Guys, huge. it's larger than my largest AoE attack. <laughs> oh god, we're doing You can A all of its, A-O all of its. Tom, why do you well, not have None of your AoE should miss then, will it? What, what, Mitch? Tog, you should have full health. Oh, okay. Can you give me so, so I can see what's going on instead of just looking oh, at the screen? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, hang on a sec. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you could put the stream um, on. Well, they're uh, not behind on everything. That's true. Represents character. Okay, you're so you can see everything because you're awesome. it now. Can you see everything? Yep. Yeah, I can. So, so n now on my screen it says Sir Hadrian Astor under this monster's name, but that's not him. That's just so we can see. Uh, I gotta put Perry's in. Crystal just be playing all the NPCs now. <laughs> um, Alrighty, let's see here. I don't want to play as Tog's old character. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna play. You're gonna like it. Perry rolled badly. This guy rolled badly as well. Good, good. All right. Uh, oops, wrong side. Okay. So this thing, uh, you see this this monstrosity swirl swirl into being in the center of the room, and Art locks its door turn. I'm thinking shock and awe is a good idea right now. You always um, think shock and awe is a good idea. <laughs> I am gonna cast hypnotic pattern centered on the uh, center of the creature. Okay. And I need to make a saving throw on that. Mm -hmm. All right. What's the DC? Fifteen. Okay. So you um, you quickly cast hypnotic patter pattern centered on the center of the room where the you see the swirl uh, the swirling smoke monster for lack of a better term, and it doesn't seem to have any effect on it. <laughs> swirling okay. smoke monster. Why are we on the island? <laughs> <laughs> and as a bonus action, I'm gonna give my good friend Coswin um, a bardic inspiration combat inspiration. All right. So one d eight now. Lol. Let's go. Well, you got some inspiration. If it comes down to it, we can hide behind the elderly elf. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's still just standing there. Yeah, I know. He stands there like a stone. All right, wall. are you moving at all? Uh, I'm gonna then move back to this first well, pillar. They did say it was a trial. Maybe it's a trial by combat. <laughs> yeah, for too stupid. 
<laughs> All right, so uh, it is now. So I'm going to work turn. with chat to try and solve the puzzle while everyone else finds it. <laughs> I'm too late for that, Mitch. I'm going to run away from it. <laughs> <laughs> so what? what is Art Logs doing? Hold on, let me consult with the voices in my head. <laughs> <laughs> let me consult the bones. He kneels down and just throws them across the ground. The bones. Rebecca. I'm going to uh, cast Eldritch Blast on it. Okay. Kind of a one-trick pony, aren't you? <laughs> it's all I got, man. Uh, a, so, uh, so a beam of crackling energy streaks towards the target within range. Uh, make a range spell attack. Okay, you see, uh, the, 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 uh, Rebecca conjures, uh, a, a beam of energy that shoots out of her, uh, you don't have, do you have a focus? Yes, or are you I just do. shooting shit out of your hands? I have a focus. Which is? It is a book. Okay. But I do, you, for, for logic's sake, yes, I use my hand. Okay, so this beam of energy fires out of Rebecca directly at, uh, uh the monster. You can see that... Uh, the smoke kind of whoom, dissipates as if there's an, uh, uh, a force of impact on the, the great beast. But that's all you see. Roll for damage. You hit it. Okay. Seven force damage. What level is Eldritch Blast? Currently, at level, currently it's a cantrip. I'm, um... All right. Actually, All right. no, because now that I'm... Have we had a chance to uh, rest? No. Oh. Okay, then. Nope, never mind. You guys, you, you, you've you rested, but you haven't had a chance to level up. You haven't been in a position okay, where never you mind. Do that. All right, Coswin. Right. So, uh... <laughs> there was nothing important underneath that thing, right? Uh, there's the basins <laughs> right there. All right. Then it's right next to the statue. Nothing important to me. I think a value will be lost. Well, that's that's a pretty broad category. I mean, uh, so we're going to we're going to spend a sorcery point, and I'm going to twin a fireball on top of the creature. So it's two fireballs on the creature. Okay. Uh, they need Just to make the thing. a. Uh, well, hold on. DC 15. DC 15 on both. Okay. Uh, so, Coswin fires two bolts of, uh, of flaming energy at the beast. They slam into the, uh, the, the swirling smoke, detonating, and for just a moment, you, right after each other, for a moment you lose sight of the swirling mass. Um, as the fades flame, the, the fames, flames fade, can't say that correctly, uh, you see the, the the smoke swirl back into the form, and the monster just looks at Coswin, and it gives like a uh, a voiceless. Like you see it, like, but again, nothing, no sound comes out of it. Right. Okay. Another source for quick, quick and spell a mirror image on myself. Mirror image on yourself. That's a lot. Those fire pulse do a lot of fucking damage. Oh yeah, they do. All right, so you got mirror image. Let me just—it's uh... a level three combat spell. Of course, it does a lot of damage. Uh, see what? What's a good symbol for mirror image? That's a shield, fireball, mirror. I'm, I'm looking. There's a snail. <laughs> it's not. No, because that would mean you slowed. It's gonna give you an eyeball. Okay, cost one. Anything else? Nah, I'm good. That, that's good. Alright, so now this thing is going to move towards Tyburn, and it just takes its massive, great silver sword and comes no, I don't swinging want it. past him. I don't want it. <laughs> you're, you're gonna get it. Come on, Tyburn, tank it. it. I don't want All it. Alright, what's your AC? 17. Misses. You do duck out of the uh, out of the way of, of its tack, and it just whoosh, right past you. Uh, now it's Tybird's turn. Sacred Flame! Ah! Sacred Flame! DC 14. Dex save. DC 14. Okay. Damage? 
Hot damn. It never hits the first time. I'm so jazzed. <laughs> jazzed. <laughs> the spell works. <laughs> All right, Grandpa. <laughs> so you, you see just this, you see this little light just poof, uh, flare inside the smoke, and you can see the smoke just like puff out for a second, then coalesce back into its form. As a free action, I'm going to go ahead and go. <laughs> <laughs> go away! Go away! <laughs> as as you do that, you can actually see the, the little bit of the the black smoke, just like, like you know, like like a hel like a helicopter going through smoke at a combat zone, which is then swirls back around. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So so just what you're, what you're saying is we need like 70 industrial sized fans and we'd win this fight. Perry's I get turn. A, Perry. I get a HEPA air filter and. <laughs> <it on next. laughs> Perry's gonna run up to the thing right over here. That's that's about where he can go and still be within. I, oop, oop, nope, he was right there. He's right there. Okay, that's fine. That works. Okay, so Perry comes up to the thing, wielding nudge, makes his two attacks. Where'd my d20 go? Makes his two attack. You can see the the, the, the mace come down and boom, and it seems to like just right through the smoke and slam into the ground. He goes again sideways. You can see the uh, the base just right through the middle of it. This doesn't seem to have done any damage. It might not be able to attack us. That's Perry's turn. Artlocks. Well, it, it, it attacked me. It's tried to. Did it do damage? It didn't do damage. Then again, it might not have hit. Yeah. Um... I feel like this, this great circle probably cleave me. Not <laughs> based on a foundation like the sky. It was like the sky. <laughs> I uh, used my action to guess. Uh, have we? Have, have, okay, Art Lux. We need to start talking about you thinking things through. <laughs> what happens if you guess wrong again and another one spawns? That's very true. We um, just get more and more of them. <laughs> well, we can ask that question once we have or have not dealt with this thing. Exactly. Okay. okay. Uh, I'm gonna. We don't want to have another 9/11 tower. If I'm in range, session. that is. I don't think I am, and I don't think I've hit. Huh. huh. Okay, that escalated a little bit. Okay, so you uh, throw the javelin. I'm with. <laughs> Uh, and you just see the thing just phew, right past the thing, uh, but the crackling energy, which just barely goes past Tyburn, does hit Perry. Hit Perry? It's ten feet wide. Well, yeah, actually, no, it's ten feet wide. I said it was ten feet wide, right? Not ten feet radius. Yeah. All right. No, then, no, it, w it wouldn't hit him. So that just that the, the you you throw the javelin, it transforms into that bolt of lightning, and just right past everybody, and then the javelin clinks to the ground at the back of the room. The physical attacks are going to hurt this thing, if at all, ever. Well, that's well, why I threw the javelin the that turns into a giant piece of lightning. lightning. But you roll the four, right? Yeah. But the javelin is still a physical object that goes. Yeah, but the lightning might hit it. I mean, he's he still rolled a four. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like maybe it will work. Well, we don't know yet. Nobody's actually gotten a good roll yet. I'm gonna um, then use Bane on the creature. Oh no, I can't do uh, that as an action. Sorry, I thought it said bonus action. Never mind. Okay. I am my turn. All right. Uh, Tog. Okay. So. uh... First off, I'm going to move a little bit away from Coswin, since Coswin seems to have teed it off a little bit. <laughs> Who knows? He might have slight ethereal music play from him, or start to <laughs> yeah, Who knows what will happen? Yeah. Maybe that's the key to the room. That's why I'm off right now. I need uh, I need my battle music to start up. <laughs> All right. Then How I many times have we got that? I, I don't know. A it's... lot. Three or four? Maybe more? <laughs> I, just, I start a fight, and Flight of the Butterfly starts off. Just gonna, gonna <laughs> Witch Bolt? Cast Witch Bolt on it. All right, so the crackling beam of energy races out towards the target, impacts it, and you can kind of see the uh, uh, the, 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 the dark energies uh, intermingling and crackling off and swirling in the smoke. And damage for that is what? 1d12? I don't you have think to make he has a, the uh, range. You have to make a range oh, attack. You have to move. Oh, shit. I, I, don't, yeah. I don't think he has the range. Uh, no, you got to get closer. 
You gotta get within at least 30 feet if it's, yeah. You yeah. can hit it from there. There we go, okay. <laughs> okay. Get within base range. Okay, so now you gotta make a range attack. Yep. You just see, you just yeah, see the, 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 the bolt to that. enter. Nope. You just see the the bolt enter the smoke and it just kind of crackles around and then which bolt falters. Wait, you don't get a when you're rolling for a magical attack, you use your spell attack bonus as a bonus to whatever you roll. Well, I didn't that calculate it because you just roll the d20. Yeah. God damn it, game. God damn it, me. I'm about to say, didn't you just say roll d20 instead of actually clicking on the uh, the link? I, Hot link. I did nothing happened. I gotta work on it because I screwed something up in it. Yeah, so okay. it'd be a D twenty whatever your spell attack bonus is. What is your spell attack bonus? It would be a fifteen. It'd be a fifteen? Alright, so you see the uh the, the bolt of energy um slam into the uh, the base of the form and just start uh, a cr you know, you see that that that, that dark, I'm going to say purple energy crackling into the smoke, and you see it writhing in pain a little bit. Now, roll for damage. Correctly, please. I do. All right, seven damage. Yes, and now I'm connected to it. Yes, you are. All right, Coswin. Right. Uh... I am going to cast uh, Scorching Ray with a, uh, I'm going to twin that, and I'm also going to use Tides of Chaos on it. Okay. Oh, God. So this is going to be towards creature. This is with advantage. That's one, two. Three, four, five, six. So advantage okay. on all of them. You j just like a like, like a Gatling gun of scorching rays. Just <laughs> all you see all these 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 flaming rays of uh, of light shoot towards the beast. Roll for damage. Okay, which ones hit and which ones didn't? All of them. All of them hit. Oh, oh. Oh god, the pyromaniac's out. <laughs> Each one slams in, in, into the beast, and you see the, uh, the the ray just kind of sink into the smoke, and the beast, every single it hit, the beast just writhes around a little bit, and it takes the... Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Yeah, 16. no, it is. That, that's painful. <laughs> it takes six scorching rays just hit it. <laughs> that's, I don't think I've ever hit all of them. This is, It's happening, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. That's 56 points of fire damage. Jesus. I think that's more than I did with the fireball. Close. Yeah. Very and, close. Uh, yeah. That was one to, one to that was tied to chaos, so 72 on the chart. Oh, we've had that one before. I gain resistance to all damage for the next minute. <laughs> all right. So, Fuck you, enemies. Uh, uh, the the beast kind of you see the 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 smoke kind of coalesce a little bit as it goes to make a one, another one of its swinging attacks, and it just it attempts to swing straight through like horizontally, Tyburn. Uh, but it unfortunately misses. Tyburn ducks, and Perry has the instincts to juke out of the way, and it just whiffs right past. This time it makes a swinging attack straight down, and you just see the blade <clears throat> down to the ground right next to you, Tyburn, uh. and then drag across the floor, leaving uh, uh, you know, that silvery smoke behind, and then it, it, it comes back up ready for the, uh, the the next attacks coming at it, and just does another one of those like wordless, like, like, like awkwardly large dislocated jaw like growls at you. I don't but want again, to play Dark Souls anymore. <laughs> Tyber, it's your turn. Um. Is there a sign that this thing's actually been hurt by what we've we've hit it with? It looks the same as when you started. Um, I 
I'm I'm gonna cast Shield of Faith on myself and give myself two AC. Shield of Faith for the Tyburn. So I have an AC, a AC of 19. Oh, that's now. a good one. There we go. That's a good Shield of Faith icon. And then I'm gonna Sacred Flame again. All right. For those who are just joining us, we are fighting some sort of gaseous okay. form that has um, a appeared from... All right, damage. Mm. All right, again, you see that little depth charge explosion of light on the inside of the flames, and you see it <sighs> then coalesce back to its form. All right, Perry is going to take two more swings at the thing with Nudge. All right, you see... Uh, one of his attacks, whoosh, he swings it down, and as it goes into the form, you see it kind of slowed his his mace slows down as it as it as it gets a little bit of a, a bite on the thing, and then boom, down to the floor all the way through it. He takes another sideways swing. This time, the smoke just dissipates out of the way, and then coalesces back together in the center. That's Perry's turn. Artlocks. I'm still trying to work out the fucking riddle. <laughs> Uh, have we uh, have we worked out if this thing's doing and taking damage yet? Anybody's guess. It hasn't hit anybody yet. T e a c h i n g. I don't want to be wrong. Um. Right, let's do some support spells. Uh, I... I think I'm just going to go for the... Actually, I'm just going to do for the old-fashioned shoot it with my crossbow. Okay. To grab your crossbow and... And you just see the arrow just... Right through it. Okay. Uh... I... I get... I don't want to mess with the fucking thing again. Right, I'm just <laughs> going to end my turn there. All right. Just start playing with letters again. What could go yeah, wrong? Rebecca. I'm just going to spend my action to continue doing 1d12 damage to it. Okay. Roll for damage. You moving at all? Uh, so far it seems that it's quite happy beating up on, uh, or attempting to beat up on Coswin and, uh, well, not Coswin, um, Alright, uh, so you see that, um, the, 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 the witch bolt just kind of crackle, witch bolt already crackles around it, in and throughout the flames. Alright, Coswin, your turn. Right. So, let's see here. Well, I think I'm just going to uh, fire a... Uh, I mean, I've, I, I've done enough. I've done 100 damage-ish. <laughs> I've uh, done enough. <laughs> I've done enough. Let you guys get some, get some hits in, so I'm just going to fire a magic missile at it. Magic missile. Yep. Okay. Nine force damage. All right. You see your your magic missiles just th 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 into the smoke and that's it. And fifteen on the charge. And for the next minute, I regain five hit points at the start of each of my turns. So I naturally regain five hit points. Okay. At wow. the start of your turn? Yeah, the start of my turn. So I can start. Well, aren't, you, aren't you at full? Yeah, I'm at full. So I can start tanking some damage if you want to bring it over here. <laughs> All oh, right. So the uh, the beast takes uh, two more swings at uh, Tyburn here. Again, just whoo, right past it. it they're, they're, they're big, ponderous, and slow. And then whoo, back the other way. They're, but Tyburn's too quick. They, miss, they both miss. Brings us to Tyburn. Take a flame. Take a flame. All right, damage. 
Another small pinpoint of light on the inside of the beast, whoom, and then collapses back to nothingness. All right. Barry's gonna take some swings. And, uh... You see Perry just wailing away with Nudge, and, and what you see is every, every once in a while when the you see his base go through it, you see the beast kind of writhe and, and, and then coalesce back together, and the mace comes back through the other way, and again, it, it writhes in pain and then coalesces back into its form. Artlox. I'm going to sprint over to the table as far as I can. Uh, I can move 60 because I'm using my dash. I can get to about there. Is mm -hmm. it there? Skip there. Rebecca. Hmm. You didn't have a bonus action, did you? Who, me? Yeah. Yeah, but I'm not using it. Okay. This... Rebecca. This creature seem... Has he... Does the smoke seem like it's been hurt at all? By all that, of our what, As it's been taken... As, as, you know, blows have been raining down upon it, like, you know, it swirls and, and, and kind of writhes in pain. Has it started to like dissipate at all, or anything of that? Still looks, still looks, uh, like fully formed, like it did when it came into the room. Yeah. All right. For now, I guess I'll just keep keep doing one d twelve damage to it. Yeah, you you guys keep um it distracted. I'm just gonna keep trying the riddle. Okay. All right, Coswin. Yeah. Well, I think. Uh... Uh, let's see here. Another magic missile. Magic missile. All right. You see the magic missiles just disappear into the black smoke. Eighteen on the chart. I grow a long beard made of feathers that remains until you sneeze, at which point feathers explode out from your face. <laughs> All right, then. All right, it's the smoke monster's turn. Uh, that went off the table. All right. Again, two big... And then another one down into the ground. But Perry and Tyburn are just dip, dive, dive, duck, dodge, and diving around it. And it just can't uh, land a blow with its great silver sword. I think Tyburn. it has a negative, like, to its, to its to hit. Coswin. Or you're sneeze rolling really wizard. shitty. Because if this is a Take sneeze the wizard. Because if this is a concentration spell by the wizard, the distraction of the feathers might All right. go uh, away. Alright, damage Tyburn. You see that little vroom on the inside. And then collapses back to nothing. Alright. Perry is still just swinging away with Nudge with all of his, uh, his might. And you just see every with every blow, the monster just like reels back and then forms back together into its its uh, itself. And then another blow lands and it rises again and then coalesces back into its full self. Artlox. I'm gonna continue on my path over the, to the table. Okay. I'm gonna have to use my dash again to get there. Can I write in the book as a bonus action? Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh. I want to write the word. I'm not. I'm gonna forget about the eight letters thing. I want to write school. Okay. Anything happen? So, as you uh, write the word school into the book, you see absolutely nothing happen. Cool. Yeah. Magical amounts of nothing. It's like watching the golf ball go into the sand trap. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! Uh, okay, it is uh, it's Rebecca's going, turn. It's going. Oh, and it's in the bunker. <laughs> um. Hmm. I guess I'm just gonna keep doing damage to it because I don't have the spell slot to uh to really hurt. All right. Do anything else. You continue. <laughs> Rebecca stands there, bored as the, the the beam of energy crackles throughout the smoke. Just perusing through her book. Coswin. Fuck it. All right, I'm going to. Uh, uh, let's, let's see here. 
I'm going to double move up to next to the creature, and I'm going to try and get its attention. <laughs> Just gonna start yelling at it. We're, yeah, and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna test the theory. Okay. What do you do to try to get its attention? Uh, uh, I don't know. I make it look like I'm trying to cast a really big spell or something really dangerous. Or something. You just, a lot of a lot of I want to try and do, do press a digitation on it. Like I, I'm not have, sure. How are you gonna come a man, the fucker? I'm not sure how much more dangerous you can get than, like, the six Scorching Race you hit it with. I, mean... I don't have okay. press That's not a spell I got. Aww. So you're, ju you're just trying to make yourself look really intimidating. Yes. Uh, roll an intimidation check. Okay. All right. Uh, so it's this thing's turn now, and uh, you should just see Coswin sprint up into the room and start making a big show of force. The thing immediately turns its attention to Coswin. Its blade comes swinging down, but just barely misses uh, Coswin. Another whew, sideways swipe, but it doesn't have purchase. We're fine, guys! Tybert, it's your turn. Sacred Flame. Damn it, they were fine! They couldn't All hit right. me! <laughs> Damage? You see that little explosion of uh, light inside of its body and then coalesces back together. If it couldn't hit me with my 12 AC, then I think we're good. Perry continues wailing on the thing. One swing just woo, too low, the other one down on the thing, and you see it writhe in pain and then coalesce back together. Art locks. Uh, O O. Mm, doesn't fit. Fuck. Meanwhile, Perry is con or uh, our um, is consulting the. I'm dictionary. gonna I'm gonna Arcana check the book on the puzzle. table to see if the book's even got any sort of magical vibe to it. Arcana check. It's an ordinary book. Yeah, I thought so. Um. So that's literally just for your workings out. Um, Try whatever you just tried there on the pillars. Yeah, the, the words I the word I had um, doesn't fit the thing. But yeah, people. I, I was so I'm gonna work do a word derivative of that. So I'm gonna run all the way back. So I've got to go <laughs> back to the first pillar. Is what I'm assuming is the first pillar. 60, 60 you just see Artlocks running back and forth <laughs> across the room. And this is when we find out that uh, Elvish is like the Hebrew alphabet and you write it backwards. To what we normally think it is. We write, they write le right to left, not left to right. <laughs> but Artlocks would know that he speaks All right. Elvish. Rebecca. I'm gonna make my way over. As a half-elf, you'd think I'd know that. Taking my way over to the uh, the creature, I'm gonna uh, press digitation and just cast a light puff of air at it. You're just gonna, well, press digitation doesn't have any physical form. Yeah, it doesn't. Uh, you can create an instantaneous, harmless sensory effect such as a shower of sparks, a puff of wind, faint musical notes, or an odd odor. So I'm yeah, just going to. So it. you could, ju I mean, the huff of wind is what you're gonna get from blowing on it like Tyburn did. <laughs> So that would, that's what you're doing, and you're gonna you're gonna break your witch bolt. Yeah, because it seems like it seems like weapon damage is not harming it. It so also you just cat you just go to the little, and you just see the smoke just kind of like. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> All right, Coswin. Uh, try disengaging. See if it gets an attack of a opportunity. Sure, I'll do that. I'll step back one square. You see the blade swing down at you, but it doesn't have purchase. Okay, I'm gonna go forward one square. Okay. Then I'm gonna go back. You're <laughs> <laughs> immune to damage right now, so it's the best way to test it. it resistant. Well, resistant. Yeah, that's what I mean. You, uh, again, you see the blade heals. boom down at you. Doesn't have purchase. Oh, okay, that's that was, uh, was one twenty. Three, that was twenty. Uh, again. Forward one, then back one. 
Again, the, the blade comes swinging harmlessly at your direction, but doesn't have purchase. Guys, I think we're fine. I think we're, I think we're fine. Is that or Ben's think... really whiffing with his rolls to uh, It's either that or this thing is one. really having a bad day, because I'm Are not hard to Are you going to uh, do anything else? <laughs> take a step forward, take a step back. Fuck it, yeah. No, I'll do. I'll keep doing that. We're gonna test this theory out. I can heal five HP every turn. So you're so. just gonna use your dash action to keep driving. Yeah, yeah. just keep going. So bad. Yeah, but you're on. immune to damage still, aren't you? No, I'm I'm resistant, so I take half damage. Resistant but to the, damage. He'd still be able to hit me, is what I'm saying. Nope. And back one. Nope. Nope. Forward one. Nope. Back one. Nope. I was twenty, so forward one, back one. So didn't roll higher than a ten. Hold on. Do I have a... Alright, it's now this thing's turn. It's gonna move forward after Coswin. <laughs> on top Come on! Come why, on! Did, why did I not pick... And you see, you see that Perry kind of like is half emerged in the smoke now, and it's gonna take two swings at Coswin. Nine and a nine. Whiff, whiff. We're fine, guys! We're Tiber. perfectly fine! I'll, I'll keep dealing with this thing. Uh. <laughs> you just you just saw Cosmo that's like stepping forward and stepping back for like a for like six seconds straight. <laughs> <laughs> this poor thing's gonna need counseling after we're done with it. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna move over here. You name it. <laughs> All right, Bob, you just go through the smoke, and you see it, it whoom, right after you as you just get out of its its reach. Not a hit. I'm just McCann waiting for it to actually said Arlock, so what now? <laughs> um, do you want me to go along my thinking? As in wait, wait, uh, wait, it's wait, Perry's wait. turn right up. Perry is inside the smoke, and you could just see this, like, <laughs> nudge, like, whoo, from the inside of it now, just whiffing through the smoke. Hang on a sec. This is for this is for Perry. And you just see you just see a, a a hammer waving backwards and forwards and up and down. Artlocks, it's your turn. I'm gonna start spelling out learning. Okay. L. Uh, L is that? And that's all I can do with my turn. <laughs> uh, Rebecca. Uh, do you tell us what you're going to spell out? Yeah. That's a shame because I can't help you. <laughs> you can use your dash and then ask Ben if you'll. Yeah, true. Be yeah. Yeah. Bonus action too. You can. You can. You can spin a tumbler as a bonus action. Okay. That's fine. Then I'll set the E. Somebody in so. the chat just said this is the avatar of Magnus Locke. <laughs> <laughs> I just want. I just want it that if it ever does actually hit, it does like seven d twelve lightning damage or something okay. ridiculous. Coswin, your turn. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on, buddy. <laughs> so you're going to do the same thing? Step forward and back six times? No, uh, just, now you're just yeah. patronizing it. Yeah, fuck it. Why not? I'll end up here, by the way. So. You see it furiously swinging at Coswin as he taunts it by stepping into <laughs> and out of its reach. It doesn't manage to land a hit. Oh, is, what, what are we going to call it? What's its name? <laughs> Barry. Magnus. <laughs> God, Barry. Billy? Alright, it's this thing's turn now, and you can see it kind of turn on into itself and just start, like, reaching in towards Perry, like, where it is inside of its form, and you just see, like, a hand disappear into the black smoke, and then the its own blade just whoosh, swipe through itself, but you don't hear Perry scream or yell or anything like that. Get out of there! There's <laughs> more of an annoyance than anything. Get out of there! <laughs> Tyburn. Um, I'm a dash over here and bonus action up an A. Okay. I'll take care of this, guys. Don't worry. Perry's just gonna start swiping at the thing again from the inside. You see one, you see, you see one, uh, uh, like, mace head come up and, like, go through the thing's face and it kind of <laughs> reels back and then you see another one just whoosh, whiffs right through the thing. It doesn't seem to do anything. It's, it's just sitting there in its full form. Just hearing shouts of religious foes. 
and I am my death. Okay, Rebecca. <laughs> I'll run up to the next the, the next tumbler and I'll uh, tumbler out a new the, the next letter. What letter? R. Okay, Coswin. Uh, is there a way I can put it out of its misery? This poor thing needs to be put out of its misery. Look at what we're doing to it. Detect if it's an illusion, maybe. Oh god, it's just been an illusion this entire time. Yeah, I'll do an arcana check, why not? What are you trying to suss out? Uh, if this thing is dangerous. Is, is it here? Is this thing dangerous right. and is it here? Roll, roll an arcana check. Fucking illusion. Yeah, guys, this thing isn't here. The second you say that, it disappears. Yeah. <sighs> Son of a bitch. That was a waste of perfectly spell good spells. Out. Yep. The wizard uh, that was left in the hallway steps out into the uh, into the room, looks up at you guys, and just goes, "That took far longer than it should have." <laughs> okay. All okay. Right. Go sit back in the corridor. <laughs> No, um... Don't need your sass. Uh, I'm gonna just turn to the wizard and say, Well, what do you expect? We're in a place that we've never been before. We don't know what to expect. It's always a perfectly good bardic inspiration, too. Uh, I never used it at all. No, no, you didn't. That's alright. He like, looks at you and he goes, The test was a trial of, of wisdom, not of intelligence. <laughs> well, hey, I found it! I got it! <laughs> Well, I'm gonna continue trying to spell the thing. Um, just, just out of curiosity, school was the correct answer to that riddle. Oh, but it, you fucking everything hell. in the room is fake. Ah, oh. it's all nonsense. Ah, oh. fucking, fucking elves. Feywild! <laughs> God damn elves! Uh, with with that, you see him uh, uh just give a slight motion of his hand. And the doors at the end, other end of the room, open up. I swear. Oh, I'm so. I, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna thank the wizard anyway, begrudgingly. He just kind of folds up his his hands, gives you a curt nod, and starts walking back down the hallway where he came from. Fucking elven wizard bullshittery. Is, I'm gonna pick is, up, pick up um, my um, javelin. Rebecca is angrily muttering as she no walks wonder I hit every, No wonder I hit every scorching ray. It probably had an AC of two. <laughs> what, what was happening is every attack that the wizard could see was hitting. Any attack that was cast for somewhere he could not see was going straight through it because he didn't know what was happening. So you hit when you were standing out, and then you backed yourself up against the wall where he couldn't see you, and everything was just whoo, 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 through. Um, before we leave, I'm gonna tickle Ty uh, Coswin's nose until he sneezes. <laughs> <laughs> Roll a Constitution check. It Wait. only took you an hour and twenty minutes. <laughs> that's, that's, gonna be a that's gonna be a really bad <laughs> roll for him. Because I have a fucking great Constitution. Holy shit! <laughs> he just st he stands there, stock still. I fucks you, and then just strokes his what glorious beard of feathers. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get rid of the feather beard. Alright, so... <laughs> I gotta bet with the what you... I gotta keep it going for three days. <laughs> what are you guys doing? I'm over at the portal. Or the doorway. The doorway. The doorway. So, Rebecca walks up to the doorway, and what you can see is a set of steps that just lead up for quite a ways. Well, I guess we're getting in our, uh, our cardio. All right, so you guys walk up the steps. Wait a second. Arcana check. Hmm. Is this an illusion? Is this, an illu is this the also steps? an illusion? <laughs> the steps, you, you, you like, gingerly test each one with your toe. No, it, it, it like, is there, there it, like, like, does it actually go up that high? Like, uh, is there any type it of... Seems bullshit? to, yeah. Okay. How much poor bullshit is going to happen in this room? <laughs> Fucking fail, <Mario. laughs> 
um, you get to uh, the top of the stairs, and it opens up into a, a small room <clears throat> that itself is open to the uh, uh, open of the sky in the back room. Think of uh, uh, that room where Daenerys is uh, in in Dragon's Reach or Dragonstone or whatever it is, where it's that room that's just open up to the to the, to the sky, kind of like that. Um, as you walk up to the uh, to the edge, what you see is the uh, you seem to be standing above the entrance to that temple that you were in before, and there is that large, placid, circular pool right at the base of it. Um, would we have to jump into the pool? Who are you talking to? Like, just, are we above the pool as in we'd have to jump yeah. down into it? Like, 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 you're at the top of this, this cliff, basically, in this room that's open up to the, uh, to the world, basically. And what you could see, you could see part of the city arrayed out behind you, people mewing uh, about, and you could see this perfectly circular, placid, it looks perfect, like, like glass, it's so still, pool sitting at the bottom of the <laughs> Well, place. they did travel here through that pool. Now, the question is, who's going to test down this portal? Away! I, I will. Tyburn just, just okay. runs up to the edge yeah. and grabs his knees and off and cannibals off the edge. And you see him plummet down <laughs> towards uh, the pool, I mean, hits the surface, and you see nothing. It doesn't, it doesn't ripple. It doesn't. It doesn't seem to have reacted, but Tyburn's gone. I, mean, I had fly, so I could have probably tested that a little bit safer. <laughs> uh, uh, go uh, I, I guess I I drop it. Uh, let's go. Yep. Go, 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 go. <laughs> so who's jumping? I am. Uh, uh, being art blocks, I guess. All right, Roach. Yeah, I'll go. And Perry. So everybody, very tentatively, walks up to the edge, takes that final leap off. And as you're plummeting down towards the pool a good 80 to 100 feet below you, you have that last split second thought of, was this really good idea? And then you impact the, wa the, the, the water. You find yourself underwater, all of you, in darkness. And I think we're going to take a little break there because I have to go to the bathroom. Okay. Those pocket spell books. Just as a notebook would be great. Uh, Chris, I'm going to send you the list. Uh, this is a physical uh, item you found. So this isn't okay. something you wrote yourself. What's going on? Uh, he, okay. I was giving um, Chris a, a item that his character has. I sent it to him on Discord. Oh, cool. Okay, um... Class 1, what's your constitution modifier? My modifier? Yeah. Three. Tyburn, constitution modifier? The modifier... is zero. Art locks? One. Uh, and... Rebecca? Two. Okay. We all here? Uh, yeah. Yep. Okay. It should be. Oh, one second. <clears throat> all right, so you all find yourself cold, wet, underwater darkness what do you do what do i see is uh what exactly I is i swim up you're underwater tiber you swim up and it, yeah. you you just run into something solid like how freezing is the water room temperature okay 70 uh, something degrees I cast light tiber you cast light it blares out under under the water illuminate you seem to be you seem to be in the pool you guys dive down into 
but there is a stone covering above you. Oh, oh, strong, goodness. strong people get pushing. <laughs> uh, How deep is the pool? Can we see the bottom now with my light? It's about six feet deep. Um. It All steps, right, I make a, I make a very up broad on the motion. sides, so it's shallower uh, uh, by about a foot on the sides. All right, I make a very broad motion to tell to get some like waving people out from in front of me, and I pull and I to, to add emphasis. I'm putting my staff up in front of me. Hold on, I can just levitate the thing if we need it. Tyburn's unconscious. I'm gonna levitate the um the, the light thing goes on out. top. I'm gonna cast right. levitate on it. Levitate. I can weigh it. I can lift up to 500 pounds of weight with it. It's a stone slab. 500 pounds. Do you have you tried lifting stone? Think... <laughs> a stone slab that's for like a six foot diameter pool this thing's about like, this, this pool's like, like like 30 feet wide don't know how yeah. good lord right all right coswin is going to uh you know fuck it if they didn't get out of the way it's their fault so our uh, you cast <laughs> levit you, 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 you bust out your loo underwater play a tune mm -hmm. and you you could see the thing like shift on its on, on its like base a little bit and you can see like little bits of rock falling down along the edges but it doesn't go up uh hadrian you are on the other side of this and you can see the thing shifting art locks right. you're unconscious all right so cause one before anything else happens cause one is going to uh spend uh his uh is going to spend a sorcery point and he's going to cast fireball twinned at the uh at the uh stone slab stone from slab underwater. from underwater okay so uh, you did you fire your 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 uh, bolts out, actually out of your staff or is it just a, for the for the for the focus? Uh, it's just just I out mean, of curiosity. I mean, it's technically I guess out of the staff because that's that's my focus, but right. it doesn't really specify between them. But Cost the thing is, me. they don't start off as uh, fire; they start out as uh, as it reads in the description as small. Uh, beads of red light until they hit their target. That's and pretty then they cool. Explode. That's pretty cool. So, so you see Tyburn's body just like start sinking down towards the bottom. You see Artlocks his loot uh, drop his loot as it floats up a little bit, and then Artlocks starts sinking down. You uh, swim towards the center uh, of the pool, float down to the bottom, and vroom, vroom. It kind of it looks like they kind of move just a little bit slower in the water, but you watch them as they, they go up right above your head, and then <laughs> there's just a shock wave, and you see the center of the stone slab crack, and then the uh, cave in and start just <laughs> the, the the rocks start sinking down through the water, and you see air above you. Hadrian, you see the rocks in front of you just boom boom like b blow out for a second, then just collapse in on themselves. I I'm gonna move forward to investigate what the hell just happened. I I'm swimming for the surface so that I don't pass out because I assume I'm partially drowning right now. You're unconscious. And I'm un unconscious. I'm gonna go up to the top. Uh, I'm gonna go up to the air. Uh, so you swim up to the, uh, swim up to the surface, breach the surface, and surprisingly still had three minutes of air in your lungs. Seriously? Nobody <laughs> else had a constitution above a one? I, I will... Two. Okay, uh, holding breath is so one plus your constitution modifier. So I was under there for two minutes. Oh wow! Yep. You just uh, you you just fucking made it, Coswin. Yeah. All right. Well, we're all drowning, so help so us. So you. Yeah, 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 yeah. I take a breath. I take a breath, and then I go back down, and I go for her. <laughs> you just ignore Hadrian, who's just like, what the yeah, fuck? Yeah, he's just standing there. There's one man in the room with you. You just look at him. Do what do I see? Coswin's, Coswin's not paying Coswin. attention. Coswin. Do I see any bodies other than Coswin? In the uh, you can see thing? you can see some bodies floating in there, yeah. Alright, well then I will dive in after one of them. It does not going to be uh picky. you immediately realize that that was probably a really bad idea having been wearing heavy armor and sink directly to the bottom <laughs> and thus sir hadrian drowned what's your constitution modifier it is three 
Oh, okay, you're okay. We'll just leave you down there for a few minutes while we figure out what's going on. So, Coswin, you pull Artlock's out and, and, and drape him over the side. What are you doing now? You saw a uh, man in full armor just dive in and then just, boom, right to the bottom. Wait, how deep is it? Six feet. Okay, so can I just stand up and pick one of them up and just walk towards the side since I'm 6'3"? So you can get, <laughs> you, His head's just out you can get your forehead out of the water. <laughs> yeah, pick, up, pick so someone so up. So the edges were shallower, the so you the can just take a couple of steps. Yeah, so <laughs> who do you want to grab? Uh, whoever I see is closest. Tyburn would be I'm closest. Okay, then Tyburn. So you grab Tyburn and you just you could you you like like the water's like right up to your eyeballs and you get up to the edge, you take that <laughs> one step up. So you're only wa underwater for like 20, 30 seconds. Uh, you throw Tyburn's body over. Cost, would you going in for Rebecca? That's his wild magic roll. Yeah, I just oh. re I just realized. You would randomly cast fly on a creature. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Okay. Well, roll. We're left six. in the water. Who who you s is casting fly on? You have to work it out, Ben. Yeah, random random. creature within 60 feet of you, so it could be any of us. Okay, so, so we'll... well, at the time that happened, there were two people conscious. You're flying, Coswin. No, it can't be me. It has to be on another. Oh, Sir Hadrian! Out. It's Sir Hadrian then. <laughs> <laughs> so Hadrian, you jump. Die. You jump in the water, sink to the bottom. You feel this interesting tingling sensation overtake your body you pick up tyburn and superman him out of the pool <laughs> all right so anybody going in that are you, is anybody gonna go back in for rebecca i think i think we got everybody right I no rebecca's everybody. unconscious body still floating around. yeah we got everybody well, I, I will go back in after so hadrian just again with body. his newfound flying ability <laughs> goes back in retrieves <laughs> rebecca Ty tyburn um, Artlox and Rebecca are all unconscious, but alive. Hadrian and Coswin are standing there. Coswin, you look around and you realize you are alone in this large room, which seems to be surround. Uh, uh, the walls seem to be laid with display cases that contain various items, and there is a very large man wearing full armor standing there, who's just flew around and saved Tyburn. What about Perry? Where's Perry? Oh, fuck, I forgot about Perry. Well, let's see. <laughs> God he's damn it. Perry's still just looking at the pool of water on he's the just, other side. He's like. just on the other side <laughs> looking. You, th then what happens is you guys see Perry materialize at the bottom of the pool, and he just kind of looks around and whoop, 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 up to the surface, and he's just bobbing there with his head above the surface. You're like, what's up, guys? What happened to them? So what happened was was the <laughs> you know, like Perry Perry's a character in an MMO and he gets ready to jump but then lags back onto the, the yeah thing just, <laughs> he get, he got up into the air and then whoop went back to the hitch. Oh, it's rubber banding. <laughs> All right. So who's well, doing I, what? I recognize Rebecca because I traveled with her for a ways. Yeah. She's unconscious. She's unconscious. Right. <laughs> I'm kind of glad nobody had a negative constitution because you would have been like drowned after a few seconds. Uh, help you I'm gonna to ask help. this. Ask Coswin. Well, I don't know his name. Uh, ask the the guy in robes what his name is and who these people are, and why they're traveling with Rebecca. Okay. Who are you? What is your name? And why are you here? Uh, my name is Sir Hadrian Astor. A slash S slash L. <laughs> I'm on leave from the Siege of Ostia. And I was just visiting this nice museum in Beneventum. Um, hang out one second. I forgot something. Um, Coswin, Tyburn, Rebecca, and Perry all need to make a check for me real quick. Uh, just give me a sec. Let me, oh, so I can figure out what the DC was. What is that, uh, Artlox or uh, Mitch? Just no. Bob said no. ASL. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I need everybody. Is that north or south? I need uh, Coswin, Tyburn, um, Rebecca, and Perry. I'll need to make a wisdom saving throw. 
Oh, oh we're gonna forget about the Feywild. Coswin, Rebecca, and Perry, you all have absolutely no memory of your time in the Feywild. Tyburn, you remember it. Artlocks, you remember it. Coswin, Rebecca, and Perry I like that I didn't even have, have to zero roll. recollection of what happened in, in the Feywild. There's like faint, uh, you know, you know, faint, you know, those. Uh, it comes to us in a dream. No, it's more like deja <laughs> vu feeling every once in a while. Uh, but other than that, Ty Tyburn and Artlocks maintain their full memories, though. Am I awake? So, no, you're unconscious because Coswin and Hadrian are arguing. <laughs> Nobody's well. trying to wake us up. Um, so from everybody, so from so from Coswin, Perry, and Rebecca's point of view, they went into the portal at the top of the tower and came out and this end up way. Here. Well, no, to me, to me, what happened was I was blasted forward into oh, a portal, yeah. and then I ended yeah. up in the middle of a pool of water with a stone cap on it. Yeah. <laughs> the last words I've ever said were, were I, with Remember the me! Like, you. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Do That's I true. naturally come round? Yeah. It's all, um, uh, no, yeah, you're, um, you're unconscious. Without some intervention, nobody who's unconscious is coming back. Right, is well. Perry is Perry unconscious? No, he's fine. No, Perry, okay. get Perry, get them up. He he he's <laughs> he's in the water, just kind of like like you know treading <laughs> oh, water, just like. <laughs> How'd we get here? <laughs> okay. I don't know. I don't know. I think I got pushed forward through the port. Okay. Get in, get, get so them he, up. He swims okay. over okay. to the edge, goes over to Tyburn, and he's gonna use lay on hands on Tyburn. So Tyburn, gonna... you're you're up. All right, take a look around. What do I see? You see unconscious Artlocks. You see unconscious Rebecca. Your last memories were the furious fight and the collapsing tower as you went through the portal. You walked through it, and you were underwater. No, no Tyburn, my Tyburn last Tyburn memory was Oh, I'm was sorry. Cannonballing I'm into the thing. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> you, you, you succeeded your saving throw there. So yeah, um, you, you went, you, you went through the portal. You were underwater for a, about a minute, and then you. You went unconscious and woke up here with Perry laying his hands on you. Oh <laughs> my! Stop touching me. <laughs> I'm gonna get our you, 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 He lays his hands on you, and you you open your eyes to Perry plugging your nose and going in from mouth to mouth. <laughs> I just kind of put my hand up, just very slowly. Like, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm gonna healing word up uh, our locks. All right. So. Ah, spaghetti monster. <laughs> so you, Artlocks, you wake up all of a sudden, and uh, Perry's there uh, helping up Tyburn. A shirtless Tyburn, ready to give you mouth to mouth. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's he's oiling himself up. <laughs> <laughs> Did you need the security officer from that Star Trek game you played? <laughs> Artlock. Yeah. Oh just... my god! What was that guy's name? Jeff. 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 Yeah, yeah Jeff. Jeff. Didn't he? Artlock's just letting out a scream. Jeff, they all love security cannon. officer. Jeff was badass. He just like pounced three card Oh yeah. Just like what up? <laughs> he just went over there and was like, ha ha. With a pre-torn shirt. Yeah. <laughs> well, that that guess, is what oh, happened I, when I, he realized well, he was going down. He pre-tore his shirt and oiled up his pecs. <laughs> I guess I guess we got back from the Feywild then. What? Yeah. The, 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 the you guys Feywild. are you guys are in you guys are in a room. The only other person in it is Sir Hadrian. Uh, there is the pool in the center with its blasted stone cap um, uh, settled down in the center, kind of like you know off kilter at angles on the edges. Uh, it, the pool seems to be identical to the one you guys uh, dove into. Along the walls, there what are what look like display cases. Where are we? I'm turning to the one person that's not a member of the party. Because um, uh, I don't remember if I told you this. You guys are in the Museum of the Ancients in Beneventum. I thought we were going to be in Beneventum. Oh, bollocks. It's still unconscious. Um, <laughs> um, uh, who are you? Uh, as I was saying... Before, um, my name is Sir Hadrian Astor. Um, who are you? My name is Sir Artlock's Island Deal. Have you been knighted? As in the count of yeah, Brent. I got knighted. Yeah, I got knighted. 
as in the Count of Rend. Well, I've been but looking I've for been you. <laughs> well, <laughs> you, funny that I've you been have lots of debts to pay. <laughs> we we met. Uh, yeah, we we got lost in another dimension for a while. I'm I'm sorry. Um, when did that happen? <laughs> <laughs> just, just a moment Cosmo, ago. Do you really not remember the Feywild? No, I've never okay. been there. It's we dangerous there. there. We were just would there. I, would I know that he would have lost his memory, possibly lost his memory from the Feywild? All I remember is you being a fucking asshole and, and destroying the tower. <laughs> being <laughs> um, of Fey blood. Yeah, I, w I would say due to your Fey an ancestry that... Um, M memory loss uh, on planar travel to the Feywild is is a a noted side effect. I I I explain that to Coswin. <laughs> I hey I travel the planes all the time, most of the time against my will. All right, <laughs> I've never lost memory before. Yeah, but have you ever been to the Feywild before? Uh, maybe. <laughs> I, <laughs> there you go. Then. I'll tell you for sure you've been there now. Possibly, I don't know. <laughs> We've been in there for four days. Or four days of Listen, all... if I had been gone for four days, one, I would have gotten my spells back, and my spells are gone. So, <laughs> like, we just left that fight. So I don't know what you're talking about. We we had an incident. So, Hadrian... Oh, so now we date? had a fight! Okay. <laughs> what What's the date? Uh, it would be middle of June, 972. Right. June? Of... June? <laughs> June, yes. <laughs> my dad's... <laughs> Shit. It's the, the middle debt. of summer. The debt! We've missed winter. We left in October. You said to your people you'd be back. You never came back. Uh, I mean, when I visited, your some elven guy said you were sick and weren't taking visitors. <laughs> For three months. Uh, well, <laughs> uh, after that, I... I, I came back to Beneventum to do some research and then joined the army marching south to siege Ostia. Siege Ostia? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's going on? Well... Tell me, why is there a siege of Ostia? What? <laughs> Edmund, with an army from Beneventum and a few other cities, have marched south, have completely surrounded Ostia, and are currently building siege towers. But wait, Edmund's dead! Edmund's uh, a vampire. Or a werewolf. We we never really figured that out. Vampire. <laughs> well, by, by the puff of black smoke, we went with vampire. He started flying. Werewolves don't fly. <laughs> if werewolves fly... Unless it was, unless it was a werehawk. A werehawk. <laughs> uh, I don't... I, last time I saw him, he looked... Well, like like he takes himself. many forms. Is anyone going to wake up Rebecca? Eh, <laughs> she'll be fine. <laughs> Perry's gonna Perry's gonna go over there and start doing some CPR. I need to get back to Rend. I I need to get back to Rend. Uh, <laughs> I'm lost is having an emotional breakdown. Well, the my dad. My dad. Well. <laughs> <laughs> so the last time I saw Rend, they were doing well because of the trade between the armies and the and uh, Karna. And they oh were, yeah, they were they were they bottom. were doing well. <laughs> The the armies in Pedimenta needs a lot of supplies. Well, I'm I'm fine with that, but I've got some money to drop off. I've got right. some at this uh, point some guards see... to pay off that have been on there for an extra four months. You see, uh, you see an elderly oh, gentleman uh, uh, running run into the room. He seems to be carrying like a couple books in his arms, and he just looks around. He goes, "What? What's going on? We just came from the Feywild. Why'd you put a lock on the door?" He he just looks at you confused and starts like backing out of the room. <laughs> uh, Someone's I, answering for this door. I, I probably would not have opened up with "We came from the Feywild." <laughs> I mean, came from the see, he starts backpedaling like a little bit faster. Art, Art Fox, I think you pulled an Aquilus right there. <laughs> no, I, 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 he drops that his that book the on the ground. State of Art Logs right he, now. You see, um, he he drops the books he's carrying on the ground and he starts running away. Am I up now? You hear Perry? you hear him start screaming, Guards! Guards! Oh, well, that went uh, perfectly good. Uh, just just so you know, guys, I shouldn't be in Beneventum. Oh, yeah, here's the invisibility cloak. <laughs> the, the, the ripped up one? 
Yeah. Isn't it also damp? <laughs> <laughs> it was in the bag. So you reach into your to your bag of holding and a dry but tattered cloak and you throw it over Coswin. <laughs> Um, has Perry? Has so Perry, yeah. Perry like, cool. pa you you, 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 you wake up this. with a cough to Perry performing mouth to mouth. I slap him. <laughs> she just slaps him across the face. Okay. Because what the fuck is going on? What are you doing? Oh, wait, does, does Rebecca keep her memory or not? Nope. No, no. She backs up against the you know the the edge of the stone. Theme of Bobber that was covering the thing and just stares at Perry, terrified. I explained to to Rebecca what happened that we 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 were in the Feywild. You might not remember it. That is a side effect of the Feywild, and the water um, was a a portal, and we came up through it, and we got trapped underneath that giant stone roof that was put on it. And yeah, you're okay now, though. We're in Benevolent. Yeah, I suggest we leave. Oh, oh, okay. I'm with so, Sir Hadrian. So Perry, so Perry wasn't doing stir. something stupid. Oh, okay. I cast Prestidigitation on myself and dry myself off. So Rebe Rebecca just <laughs> dries off her clothes. I stand up. I, I look at Perry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. That was just a little bit of a startling thing. Um... Forgive me for hitting you across the face. Again, I forcefully suggest we should go. Yeah, no, I'm with you. Let's go. Oh, Sir Hadrian, oh, you're here. Wait, where are we? we? We can talk about this later. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. So you guys start making your way out of the room you're in. Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Yes. Would I recognize this... this uh, place at all. Would you okay, have, as, would your character have been to this museum before? I, I have been to Beneventum. As it's a, it's, leaving, it's like the Met. It's a pretty popular attraction. Okay. So I would... I might have been here. I I mean, I came I to will, Beneventum mostly for work. I will let him know where we are. I'm, I'm gonna ask Sir Hadrian, do, who is sieging Ostia? Beneventum? Maleventum, Silvium, and Vigilum. So mm -hmm. the northern states, okay. Mm -hmm. And is who heads the army? As I said, Fort Edmund and a dwarf that I have not yet met. A dwarf. A dwarf. Bolt vampires. Dwarf. Vampires. Borkbard got bit before we we. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. It's a vampire cult. We gotta kill Bill Card. We gotta kill him. So you guys are just, you're walking through. Uh, Rebecca is the o only one who's dry right now. And you 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 know, your shoes are <laughs> sloshing. Also, also bad. I'm gonna wanna... press the digitation myself dry. Okay. Uh, Wherever we are in Benevent, I, 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 I very firmly stick and try and guide people around the uh, that boarding school, you know, the Cosman yep. was in. Mm -hmm. So, stay as far away from that as possible. Okay. So, uh, you guys make your way out of this side chamber that you're in, and uh, into the kind of like a main gallery. You see a lot of people mewing about. There seems to be some tour guides with groups of like small children um, talking about various statues that they're standing in front of and, and weapons and things like that. Uh, you guys, nobody really notices you at first until you start uh, sloshing across the uh, this this very large chamber, which kind of echoes, leaving these wet footprints behind you. And then you start catching a couple glances from people as you uh, make your way across. But I'm dry now. Oh, can Three I use, locks are the only can I use my prestidigitation to dry the others off? Yeah, I'm gonna, in the I'm middle of this to... room. Yeah, it's, yes. it's no, just yes, um, do it right well, here. Wait, wait, oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm not registered anything. here yet, am I? I'm legally registered. Yeah, yeah, you do it. <laughs> I'll do it. So, Rebecca, you, you, you look at the, the group and how, uh, like, uh, <laughs> conspicuous they are, they are <laughs> dripping wet like this. Uh, you quickly uh, pull the wet ones aside and press the digitation and dry off all their clothes and kind of smooth out their shoulders a little bit. And they're like, okay, you look good now. And then you guys, you guys have, have, have drawn a lot of attention, having been casting spells in the middle of this chamber filled with, like, tourists and tourists. school children. <laughs> well, what are you guys what? doing? Uh, where, where's the man that was screaming for guards that ran out you of saw him, you, seen, you saw him run away and you haven't seen him again since. 
Let's, let's go. Let's go. Yep, door. I don't need to see him again. Nearest door. Okay, you guys make your way to, uh, following the signs towards the, the exit of the museum. You guys, uh, make your way through several exhibits, um, filled with, uh, statues, arms and armor, some magical items under locked displayed cases and things like that. Uh, out of the, uh, uh, the front of the the building, which seems to have been constructed in uh, like right up against the side of this large sheer cliff that's been carved off the side of a mountain or side of a large hill. Uh, you, there's a stone white stone steps that lead down in front of you. Uh, you guys go down the steps, look behind you. There's this great you can see this great building, and it's it's labeled as the um, Museum of the Ancients. Uh, at that, you see the the older man in the white robes. Uh, up here at the top of the steps while you guys are at the bottom, uh, followed by a couple what looks like city guardsmen. <laughs> Is my horse nearby? In the city? No, it would have been left outside. Okay. I'm just going to turn around and just walk. Just calmly try to be inconspicuous. Away. We all, we're meant to be here, we're meant to be here. Yeah, we're meant to be here walking. <laughs> I'll slightly look a little bit more dignified yeah, um, so after all. Okay, so, um, uh, you guys all just kind of, you know, smooth out your, uh, 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 your clothing and try to look down, uh, inconspicu inconspicuous as you're walking away from the building. You hear a little yell behind you and what sounds like a little, the, uh, running footsteps. Looking back at the... No, don't look back. Keep going. Rebecca looks back. She, you see, uh, the guards, like... Full on huffing it down the stairs in your direction. Um, I'm just gonna keep going. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I shrug. Turn. Some of us are protected by, by our titles. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so, might, some of us might have open warrants, aren't locks. So, some of us are. Uh, in front allowed. of you is is the uh, the city of Beneventum. It seems to be built up against the coastline. Um, and it encompasses several large hills. Uh, each large hill seems to be topped with a very prominent structure. One of them is even a very large statue, uh, possibly 60 feet tall, on the top of the hill, made out of what looks like solid gold gleaming in the summer sun. Um, mm. And there are there is a, a packed city in front of you, multiple roads that seem to you know not follow a, a straight, straight grid line, and large crowds of people going about their day. You can hear the the footsteps of the guards quickly approaching from behind you. I've uh, never been to Benevent. As you say that, you place. feel uh, a hand grasp your shoulder and and uh, pull you around. There's there's two guardsmen standing in in front of you. They wear um, uh, a breastplate with like uh, like chainmail uh, accessories along the shoulders and and the bottom. They carry uh, spears and long uh, long spears and uh, long swords that are are sheathed. And he just he spins you around and goes, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. You're not going anywhere so fast. Do you know who I am? <laughs> Do I know who you are? I don't curious. give a shit who you are. You I just desecrated me. I am Count of Rend. Now, uh, You could be High King it. Omen for all I care. You just desecrated a museum. Are, des are museums <laughs> followed ground? He looks at you. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> it just bristles at him. Just talk. Oh, if you if you walk into the loot, um, okay. Exhibit, I, I've got this questions. covered, guys. I've got this covered. Um, I'm gonna tell the guy that he is going to turn, walk away, and forget that this ever happened because I'm casting suggestion. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> You're gonna magic Jedi one. mind trick him. <laughs> You don't yeah. need to see his identification. <laughs> <laughs> These are not the looters you're looking for. Uh, he looks we at you for... He, is, there, is there a saving Doc, throw? Yeah. The target makes a wisdom saving throw. Okay, what's yeah. the DC? 15. That's pretty good. All right, he looks at you up, he looks at you up and down for, for, for a second. He just goes, I don't think you're the, uh, the interlopers I'm looking for. And he just, like, awkwardly turns around and starts marching back up the steps. The other guard is just sitting there, like... <laughs> he, and the other one turns back towards you and goes, What did you just do? 
I, I look at him. I, I'm pretty sure that he just realized what a mistake he'd made. With he uh, he looks you up and down for a second and goes, uh, "Well, actually, make a uh, persuasion check." I can do that. <clears throat> he looks at you for a second. He goes, "Let me see your registration." <clears throat> uh, wait, hold on. How many of those he got? Um, How many suggestions Arthur. you got, <laughs> Arthur? Uh, I look at. I'm, I, I'm point. I'm looking at Coswin. Arthur, hand the man my registration. <laughs> he, he turns to you, Coswin. I'm gonna fucking kill you, <laughs> Oh. Like you forgot it. Act like you forgot it. <laughs> Coswin wouldn't know this. Coswin wouldn't know that. Coswin very I'm, bad. I'm giving you a look of just play alone. He's just like I along. fucking you really hard, like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the registration. Yeah. Uh. What okay. moment? <laughs> Smoke bomb! <laughs> into the backpack and start Excuse looking. Me Excuse going, me off. I'm right. not seeing it. I don't. Uh, I think I might have forgotten it. I think I might have forgotten it. I, I oh. reach out. I, ben, I reach out and like gently tap the officer's shoulder. He kind of he reacts like 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 very, uh, like warily. No, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, sir. Um. This gentleman here, he oh. works for me. Who? Hey. The, the two gentlemen here. I'm a registered magic user with the with the state. I'm gonna I have to see all of your papers right now. I pull out my registration and hand it to him. He looks. He I looks over why. at yours, and then he looks at Art, Art Locks and Coswin right now. You see, they are apprentices. They're not formally registered yet. If they There's have magical capabilities, they are registered with the state. If they are not registered, they are breaking the law. I, I do not have magical capabilities, sir. I don't know where you got <laughs> this. This guy right here cow. just told me you were an apprentice of his, and he is a registered magical user. Where are your papers? That woman and that man don't know me, sir. <laughs> <laughs> he, he comes up to you for a second and goes, puts it, he kind of puts his hand on his shoulder and goes, Are you okay? Have they done anything to you? <laughs> they touched me. <laughs> blink, he goes. Bl he says, "Blink twice, old man, if you need my help." <laughs> I mean, I you get rid of on this guy. I can get rid of them. Telling him the same thing. Everything's fine. Go back to what you were doing. We before. all have our papers. We all have our papers. Coswin is not being. <laughs> you don't need to see our papers. So, how, so you cast suggestion again? Yeah. Penny drop. Good girl. That's not uh, how suggestion works. <laughs> um, <laughs> so uh, he, uh, you see him blink for a couple of seconds. He takes a step back from cost when he goes, "Well, I guess your papers are all right, but you did still desecrate this temple." How much money would it be required to replace? No, the no we no, don't no. have money. Don't say the money word. He uh, <laughs> he looks at you up and down. And he goes, "That's going to be up to the magistrates." I, I don't think we need to talk to the magistrates. I think, it's, it's like, like your like your friend up there, he walked away because he knew that we couldn't possibly. Do I look like I could possibly destroy a stone tablet? That's or whatever. He, he, it was. he looks at you for a second. He goes, "How did you know the stone tablet was destroyed? <laughs> Is it a tablet? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. A man, a, a man left the room screaming about some to stone tablet. Yeah. Thing. Actually, he. He, the guard looks at him and goes, he came screaming for guards. Yes, that the stone tablet was destroyed. He, 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 was, he, he was quite He narrows distraught. his eyes at you guy, guys, he grabs his long sword and he starts drawing it out. I don't think that's necessary, sir. I mean, hang on, that's necessary. hang on, hang on. Burn up your spell slot. Everything, Burn up. Everything, <laughs> everything is fine, there is no need... To further investigate, I cast suggestion on him. Also, <laughs> let's do this one. Let's, let's actually do what, everything with this one. What, for what are you suggesting that he do? I'm suggesting that we are not the right people. And he goes back to work. And he goes back. All right. DC 15. DC 15. We are not the droids you are looking for. 
Uh, you see him put uh, the, uh, re re sheath the sword. He goes, all right then, be on your way. Thank you, officer. You have a wonderful day. Kind of hey, gives, gives you a, a, a really, like, to... narrow look through his eyes and just watches you guys. Smiles warmly, waves, walks away. <laughs> All right, what are you guys doing? I'm gonna guide the party out of Benevento. <laughs> okay, Adrian so it's going to get us out of the city before you, we break you guide the museums. You <laughs> guide the, the party government. through, uh, through like side streets, uh, avoiding the main thoroughways, um, towards the uh, the walls of the city. You can see the walls of the cities are. Are um, like kind of short and squat, but very, very thick, dotted with um, square guard towers that jut out from the front. You can see that they are all manned with people, very, uh, you know, uh, people who are dressed very similar to the guards you just had interactions with. Spears, long swords, breastplates with chainmail. Uh, you go through the uh, the massive uh, gatehouse, and you can see that the walls are easily 15 feet thick at a minimum to the outside of the city where there is a livery stable where the uh, Sir Hadrian's horse is, is tied up. I left my horse back at Ren, didn't I? Nobody brought their horses with them. Uh, yeah, like... Right. <laughs> well... Seeing as... Bartlox is... fairly a fairly important person, so, I will take him with me on Princess My Horse So, to the Hadrian sea, would to like you Edmund. to ride Bitch, Artlocks. Yes. <laughs> oh, to, where are you taking me to? To Edmund, who is in charge go, of the Siege of Ostia. First. Sure. I'd rather make sure it's not on fire. Uh, I, I was <laughs> said that I was originally meant to help you, so yes, I we can go to Rend. However, before this, why don't you have papers? I'm not. You from... don't need to know why we have papers. And I'll just tell it. I'll be honest. <laughs> you suggested it. I. You just only... saw what we did. You really want to go down this road? But how many months has it been now? I've only been in this. That guy. FYI, that guy rolled a 14 like... on his uh, saving throw. <laughs> um, I've only been in this area for. Six months. Six months, possibly. Um, I'm from a different continent. Well, not continent. Same nation. continent, different. Yeah, different like state, basically. Different nation state. It's from the south. Yeah. <laughs> and yet you're. He's southern. Country. You you gotta forgive him. He's southern. They grew up differently down there. A, a, a <laughs> lot has happened. I'll I'll tell you when we have more time. Obviously. Um, now I so, just want to know: did, uh, Has Edmund shown any pre uh, like, uh, like a beautiful woman that seemed to have their blood gone by the end of the night? Uh, anything like, uh, like, like holes and necks showing up around his tent at the siege? <laughs> just uh, anything like that? Bloodless thralls. <laughs> Not undead to my showing up. Okay. An aversion to sunlight. Not that I've no. He's been walking around with the. Okay, don't read into why I asked that. <laughs> <laughs> you travel with some strange people, Artlocks. So are you guys gonna head to Rend? That's up to Artlocks. I'd like to visit Rend at so, least for a day before traveling to the city. Remind me what all the terms were of that debt. Turn on dead. Uh what? No, the debt. Turn oh, undead. The How'd debt. I thought I, debt? I thought you said remind me of the the conditions of turn undead. I was like, oh, oh it's your I, fucking I, I'll, spell. I'll lose my I'll lose my title if I forfeit the debt. If yeah. he has till the seventh of September to pay off the debt, which is to the tune of about eighty thousand gold, mm -hmm. uh, and the collateral was his title, mm -hmm. and all of his land. Mm -hmm. but it gets us way out of a situation with Ostia if that happens. <laughs> Well, I think what the correct course of action is, is we need to go and sack the Tyrell's ca castle. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, our, so I'd like to go to... Our pirate bank is knocking our door with Marketeese. <laughs> well, i got to watch out. 
All right, so you guys uh, set off with Artlock's riding bitch on Princess. Um, uh, your, I mean, your horse well, is called Princess. Yes. Oh, okay. I thought I was riding Princess, as in, like, as in, that's where they ride in front of the guy instead of the bar. No, you're riding bitch. <laughs> well, it's no, it's horse. bitch, but, like, he's got his arms around me. Like, <laughs> no, you got your arms <laughs> around him. Music swells yeah. in the background. It's like Ghost. With the, oh, the, you know, the pottery scene. Um, <laughs> uh, uh -huh. As you guys uh, make along the main road from Beneventum through uh, past Ostia to Takarda, you can see great plumes of smoke rising from around the city. And uh, as you approach closer, you notice that there is a, an entire encampment set up, uh, what seems to be, as far as the eye can see, along the base of the plateau. All of the... Uh, the outlying buildings outside of the walls of Ostia have been completely bulldozed clear. Uh, and you can see construction has started on what looks like two large siege towers at the base of the ramp that leads up to the plateau. There is a, uh, a traffic jam of carts and wagons heading uh, that, that you can see stretching as far as the eye can see from Rend heading to the siege of Ostia. It seems to be um, barrels, food, you know, sacks of foodstuffs, uh, raw materials, um, iron, things like that, and lots and lot. You see, like wagon after wagon after wagon after wagon of lumber, 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 lumber. Okay, cool. Um, as you skirt the outside of the uh, of the siege, you can see that there uh, on on the edges of the walls, you can see uh, defenders, basically not doing much other than than keeping an eye on the. Uh, the siege preparations, uh, lots of people mewing about. It's basically a tent city, and you see a number of of banners. You see the banners from uh, Maleventum, uh, which which most of you have seen before. You see the banner from um, from Silvum. You see the banner from uh, Vigilum, which most of you guys would know what they look like. So I don't need to describe. Uh, I don't need to describe me. Your characters know what they look like. And you see a fourth banner next to um, what looks like. What is Ostia's banner, but changed just ever so slightly? The twin dragons, um, with the, the with the, the sword of the sun. It seems like it's a little bit different. You see a very large banner next to a very large ornate tent, and next to that, slightly smaller, there's a banner you've never seen before. Uh, it seems to be like uh, a dark blue background with with, with what, look, what look, looks like waves around the edges, and the center it looks like a, a disembodied tentacle. Tentacles. No! Kate's got a Cthulhu banner! <laughs> Praise Cthulhu! <laughs> None of you guys have ever seen that banner before, but the other ones are all uh, identifiable to you. So you guys just gonna head towards Rend? Uh, I'm... Yeah, I'm gonna take note of that. And... Yeah, continue towards Rend, hopefully. Okay. Uh, so when you get to within sight of the bridge, you can see that it is heavily guarded on both sides. Um, everybody... The, the tolls are being taken as they as they no normally are and that seems to be what's holding up a lot of the traffic is taking inventory and proper tolls at the bridge uh but again you can just see the the, the backlog of wagons and stuff up just go all the way back to winding down to rend your guardhouse is complete and it is it is manned with um uh guards they seem to be pretty uh on edge there's a there's a standard four man guard contingent there. Seem pretty on edge, but they're doing their duty, just basically watching all the traffic coming and going. Someday, Artlox, you should probably expand this bridge to be at least larger. <laughs> I've just gone into eighty k debt trying to rebuild the town. You think the bridge is the top of my priorities right wait, now? Well, wait. it is an income source. Wait, everyone followed. It's not an I income meant, source like, for okay. him. It's okay. Oh, we so might be in debt, but. Make it. We, we can debase our currency. Corruption will go up. <laughs> if we debase the currency enough, we can pay off the debt. <laughs> we can just declare bankruptcy. bankruptcy. Yeah, we can just declare <laughs> just bankruptcy. Okay, all the way back to your to your house through the town? Uh, no, I want to go talk to the guard captain first. Okay. Bertram. If he's still here. Bertram is not here. Um... At this, at this guard, let me see. Hang oh, on. okay. No, no, I, I want to... He would be in town, though, wouldn't he? Yeah, he's like the guard captain, so he just doesn't... He, he gets to pick his shifts. 
Yeah, okay. Bertram, and there's the other one as well, the younger one. Uh, Giles. So Giles, Giles is here. Okay, Giles. Giles, he's a young man. Um, he wears uh, chain armor and carries a long sword. He, come, uh, he, he, he comes, like, bounding up to you and uh, immediately recognizes you and just goes, Arlox, where the hell have you been? You don't want to talk about it. Uh, a lot places. happened, uh, Giles. Uh, I will inform you and Bertram the, the full details of which later. Uh, but how's things here? Um, well, there's some back pay that needs to be established. Um, that's a problem. Be. It, it would, it, how much back pay have we? It was nine sixty a month for the the entire guard contingent. Oh God! Yeah, how how long has it been? Like almost six months. Four it's been months. four months. I I can cover that. That's no. That's can no we? I. You are guys you, are you offering to give him money right now? I I will cover I will cover the money. Uh, at the same time, I talk to you and Bertram later. He he goes he goes yeah 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 maybe not pull out thousands of gold in full view of a traveling caravan here. Exactly, I'm just an idea. Was, yeah. Um. So he looks at he looks at you and goes, "So how you been?" <laughs> just in that pose, Ben. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've been better. Um. Has um, Gagushka's ship returned yet? Oh, yes, it comes and it goes every few months. It's wonderful. All sorts of things and people come off of it. People? Including your father, who's paid your debts. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I, I, I must return to the house. I will catch up with you later. He he, uh, he just points down the hill. He goes, yeah, you know the way. Oh. Gives you an awkward, awkward wave. Uh, so you guys make your way back up to the house. The doors are closed. I'm just not open. The, the town door. is bustling, though. The town is bustling. It's foreclosed on the house. <laughs> He's got months to pay it off. They would not have done that yet. Yeah, I'm still got months. Or would they? I do need to go <laughs> talk to Dinkit though, because um, obviously his extra guards have been around a while. Mm-hmm. Um, so there's extra money on the debt total right now. Only two months extra, because I pay for two months of cards, right? Mm -hmm. In coppers. So. <laughs> well. Well, you paid two months up front, and then you paid the other two months for the three month gap, the, the three month jump. Now there's four months of unpaid guards. Uh, uh, a guard's pay. Yeah, no, no, I'm talking about the ones just before the adventure I hired. How long were they there for? Two weeks, or I can't remember. The 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 Italian crossbowmen from Italy? No, yeah, the, no, the extra ones and the uh, the leader, just in case there was an attack while I was away. Uh, yeah, you paid them for, I think, a month. Yeah. Cool. So, you're at the door of your own house. I'm gonna open the door. Uh, you open the door and uh, it, you know, you, you crack it open for a second and you hear like a pitter patter of uh, of footsteps on the other side and you see you 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 see a shadow and the doors fling open in front of you and there's this, um, kind of like ver very well dressed uh, elderly gentleman. Uh, it seems to be wearing um, l l like what, some sort of tuxedo or something like that. And he just gives you the evil eye. And he goes, "Can I help you?" <laughs> yes, this is my house. <laughs> he looks at you, Rebecca, and he goes, I think not. And he goes to close no, the door. No, I'm, I'm not, not saying who, that out loud. Who, who, who are well, you? you? <laughs> well, you don't, don't say things you're not saying, then. Who are you? He goes, I serve the manor. Who are you? I am the manor. <laughs> I am Sir Artlox Allen Dill, Count of Rend. He looks you up and down for a second and goes, 
You might come inside, but wait here, please. Do not touch anything. Uh, one of you guys, he, he lets you in and closes the doors behind you, and what you see is the, the, everything is clean and pristine now. Uh, the only difference in, like, the antechamber, uh, the foyer that you guys walk into is where there was that big, huge portrait of Slavobor. That has been removed, and what you see is a dark-haired, uh, gentleman, uh, with his, the air, hair kind of, uh, goes straight back, um, back his head, down, down his ears, and you can see by his ears that he's an, uh, he seems to be elven. He's got a round face and, like, a full beard. And he's just, he's sitting there, like, you know, like a Napoleon pose. Like his oh, Art Locks, your dad did come! That's description of my dad. And it is vest, and it's 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 it's, it's completely like opulent and like too large for the room, but it fits up there on the wall. Uh, Art locks. Do you have that look on your face in character? <laughs> so are you doing anything? You're just gonna wait. I'm just, I'm just staring at the painting, like staring up at it. Um. um does Do Arlox recognize the portrait? It, it is indeed a, uh, a very large, full-bodied portrait of your father. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kind of fold, arms folded, like... Like, like look at it, looking at it. Uh, you hear what f the, the, the heavy footfalls of several uh, pairs of, of feet coming down a hallway, uh, and a door on the other side of the antechamber opens up, and you see three gentlemen walk, uh, walk in. The, uh, the servant that greeted you at the door, you see... <laughs> Um, Arcus, who is now much better dressed, and he seems a little plumper than he used to be. Seems like he's been uh, indulged in the in, in the the food a little too much. And you see uh, your father enter the chamber. He looks down at you and just gives you like a very like like I'm disappointed look. <laughs> and he goes to he goes to greet you. He he doesn't he's he stands a few feet in front of you with his arms crossed. He goes. <laughs> Welcome back, Artlocks. Father. Artlocks. Coswin starts laughing. <laughs> Cos Coswin, after he says father, Coswin looks at Artlocks, looks at him, looks at the painting, and just starts. <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting a written reply. Um, I did expect you to come all this way yourself. He, he looks at you for a second. He goes, did you really expect me to leave a title in the hands of someone who's more interested in fucking every race on the planet than in <laughs> governance? Raises an eyebrow. <laughs> I'm worse than how he got here. By boat. I, By did boat. you tell them what you did? By fly. I don't know if they caught that bit. No. No. You Art, didn't, you Art Locks. Didn't he he wrote a letter, an entire. He wrote out the entire letter. Um, gave it to yeah, there Giagushka. Is, you can read the letter if you want it. And Giagushka's ship, because uh, where he was, where where Art Locks's, uh, father was, was kind of on the way to where the ship was going. He he he. Art Locks paid way too much. For that letter to be delivered to Artlox's fa uh, father, and then Artlox's father returned on Giagushka's ship. I would think you had a little bit more faith than me in me than that. Well, clearly like my assumptions were correct. He looks over at Arcus. He goes, "Go fetch the ledger." Arcus pitter patters away. Just lost your servant. Your dad took your servant. <laughs> uh, he he um gives a curt nod to the the gentleman who greeted you at the door, and the the, the man kind of bows deeply and then disappears back where he came from. He goes, yes. so exactly how did you plan on paying off your eighty thousand gold debt? Turns it back, turns it upside down. Just money. You, and and no, what happens no, is a no, flood. No, I'm not actually doing. That. Oh, okay. <laughs> just, 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 just all the gold. No. Um. I was through any skills I could possibly have them. And what skills do you have other than in seduction? I would like to think that uh, the, the, the skills... What, are you going to play I, your little I, loot 
for change on the corner and pay off an 80,000 ducat debt. Well, I, to I'd like fair, to it's think it's pretty mean we... loot. Does <laughs> <laughs> Coswin actually do? I pull, I pull out my loot and cast sleep with it. <laughs> I do actually need to be holding a musical instrument pretty much to, to have cast loot sleep. Um, because it was so like kill it. things with that loot. <laughs> <laughs> Please, sir. Uh, uh, I haven't just been playing my loot, father. Yes, clearly you've been bungling the administration of a title, which we don't have. A title. A actual title. We have money, Artlocks. We have plenty of money. We are not noble. We are not a noble family. This is what is going to be the future of House Allendale, and you've already screwed it up. Without the... Um... <laughs> I've, I've raised my voice to my father. Without this screwing up, you so speak, it would be little more than three people and a half-built temple. Tyburn, you're gonna take that? She's not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, have... To be fair, we pretty much just ran into our success at this point. <laughs> <laughs> No, nobody here in this conversation so far is wrong. I don't disagree with anything <laughs> so far. There's no reason I need to get involved in this. Like, Cyber's just, just sitting there eating popcorn. <laughs> well, not even that. It's just like, obviously, it's just like, obviously it's someone else should be saying something, but there's nothing to say because there's nobody's incorrect in anything so far. There, you know, and also, like, don't you think I knew that, like, I, I couldn't do this without the help of the family. That's why I wrote you the letter in the first place. Do you mistrust me so much that I would tr do this and not tell you and not try to sort things out? All I've been doing since I've been deemed this title is trying to make this place better for people. And With that, you you uh, see um, Arcus return. He's carrying a large book, and there is a, a beautiful young woman in tow. Uh, your dad hears them coming, and he he turns <laughs> turns around to uh. <laughs> like your this is your new mother. <laughs> it's it's he because looks at her. My, he he my looks father's... at her for a second. He goes, Diana. There's been a change of plans. You won't be returning, as I said. You see her face just all of us. You know, she had like this this bright chipper face. She wears maroon robes with a a, a silver uh, tinge, and she looks very young, like maybe sixteen, eighteen. Blonde, like dirty blonde hair, completely straight back. Very you know, beautiful, but like plain looking at the same time. Uh, you see her, she just kind of like crosses her arms and kicks her feet, and looks down at the ground and like shyly off to the side. Um, he cut, uh, Arcus comes over and he gives this big tome to, uh, uh, to your father, um, Artlau. And Artlau opens it up, flum, flips through a, um, a, a few pages and he goes, 136,000 gold. Where are you going to come up with that? 136,000? Interest. Interest. He, uh, he, 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 you say interest out loud, and with that quizzical look, he turns the book around, and what you see, um, on the line is it says, you know, you know, there's a whole bunch of, uh, you, you know, numbers adding everything up to 80,000, you know, or it was like 79,000 or something like that, but, you know, 80,000 yeah. gold, and then there's another line tacked on underneath it, it says, Giagushka 56,000. <laughs> He's making you foot the transportation bill. <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 what? Why is there a line credited to he, he slammed here? He slams the book, and you see a little bit of dust foof, out, out from the pages. And he looks at you, goes, "Apparently, you promised magical items from Rend to some gentleman in Karna. He came and collected." Hey, yeah, that was yeah. We, we, we said, yeah, magical items from Rend. We've received no magical items from Rend. He sighs pretty heavily. This gentleman, Flaccus, he came oh. to the magical shop in your town, mm -hmm. asked to see all of the new items, then produced 
a binding contract that said he was allowed first dibs of anything. And he picked a very expensive pair of glasses. They weren't from here. I got those ages ago. He just shakes his head at you. He goes, Wait, How do you so intend to pay this? How? Okay. Um... You have few months left to secure this title. I'm going to try everything I can, Father. And to start with, I'm going to take you into a different room and then show you all the money to that I've got. To start with, you're going to marry Diana, and you're going to produce an heir. <laughs> now, now Rebecca laughs with Coughlin. <laughs> What? It, uh, who? Who? Oh, she? It's the funniest day of my life. <laughs> <laughs> she just kind of looks up at you like sheepishly, then like down at the floor again. No, no offense to you. you just, I, 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 I don't know who you are. <laughs> She's been betrothed to you. She is from a very what the hell? Who's that? That was, that was me. I'm sorry. I misclicked oh. something. She's been betrothed to you. She comes from a very wealthy family. It is an excellent match. She How was going was to be return. She was going to be returning on Kyogusha's next shipment, but instead, now that you've decided to return from whatever fortification journey you are on, you I just did we just went and defeated a necromancer and got lost in the Feywild. I'm sorry, <laughs> Father. Fey what? Back in time for dinner. Hey, Penny. The Fey what? I explained that one to you. <laughs> now, instead of traveling back to her parents, she will be marrying you at the next occasion. If it'll satisfy you, Father. It's not me. You need to satisfy. <laughs> <laughs> you see her, oh. her cheeks go red. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, by the way, I'm the Minister of Secrets and Magic. And so can... <laughs> <laughs> so. How shall we proceed? Are you going to be paying off any of this debt? Or is it going to be coming out of my coffers and you're going to be paying me back? I'm going to be paying off some of the debt I... Managed to acquire money on my travels. Uh, FYI, none of you guys know that he's got fucking money in the uh, bag of holding. Wait, we got something out of that adventure? Yo, wait, what? <laughs> I Yo, already said I pulled my father into a private conversation. I didn't hear you say that. No. Oh, sorry. No, I, 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 I pulled him into the other room. They, you can just, they can just hear every time we get really loud and heated in our. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So they're all like stood in. I just imagine them all stood in like the the hallway by the new painting. It just means the entire conversation is gonna be yelling. That's all it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, which 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 fits perfectly. Yeah, you you hear him screaming. He's screaming numbers at Art Locks eighty thousand, fifty six thousand, one hundred thirty six thousand. You know, monthly expenditures and stuff like that. Then you just hear Art Lock screaming. I have money. I got money. <laughs> shows him money and that chest that I also smuggled in there. So you pulled the chest out of the bag of holding? Pulled the chest out and then in another chest, hopefully that's in, in the room or somewhere that can kind of contain it or get the rest out. But I was just So scared. you 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 clunk, clunk the chest comes uh, uh uh settles down on the uh, on the floor. Hang on a second here. I see how much this thing weighs. I hadn't realized uh, okay, so, the Count of Friend had so many issues. So you, <laughs> I know. You, uh, you, you, t you guys hear the thunk thunk of the, of the chest hitting the, the, like, the flagstones, and then you go over to a base in Arlox and just <laughs> pour out the rest of the, uh, uh, the, the going. All you guys is here is just like a stream of coins like clattering in the other room into, uh, into a container. I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> Did he lie to you about having money? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna make him hurt, and then I'm gonna kill him. 
For once, I actually agree with you. Seems a bit harsh. It's just money. I don't know you. Stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> You're not involved in this. Because <laughs> I'm mean... staring at that door. <laughs> Still just like. This so, here a continuous stream of money. Father. And so he he opens up you, you he opens up the chest and then slams the lid down and then you see him go over to the to the large pile of coins and start you're just pushing it as you know you're pushing some aside checking out to make sure the whole you know it's all there should be you know, some other coins and stuff in there and he goes okay that's a fraction it's a fraction it's a start I I originally only expected to be away for two weeks so you've used. Two thirds of your time, and you have twenty percent of the total you need. I'd like. I just kind of like sigh with um. If you default time. on this loan, I'm paying it off, and I'm purchasing the titles for myself. And I'm naming your brother my heir. My brother. You're... Don't you have a brother? Is it? No, that was uh, his. No. Sorry, his brother. I, I his brother. His brother. I'm sorry. His brother. You're right about that. We He's can't... naming your uncle his his heir. So you want? So with that, the title will dissolve into the family business. You're saying. Giving, we are losing. not letting this opportunity slip through our hands because you bungled its execution. I'm going to lean over to Rebecca and whisper, it seems without Artlocks there would be no tile to be had. You're not wrong. Are you guys suggesting you murder Artlocks? <laughs> no, no, I'm saying no, no, no. I'm, I'm suggesting it's father had no reason that to be out mad. I well, what Artlocks, I heard was there would be no well, title. You know, I got CK2 on the brains these days, and what I heard was well, if this character's gone, then the title falls in a good direction. <laughs> <sighs> no. Without me, father, this title would not be even open to us as an opportunity. Like, how else do you expect that? We would have even had a remote chance of this unless I'd been off and adventured like I had. Like like I was doing the past apparently four months. Unfortunately, circumstances led it so that I did lose that time. And I am very sorrowful that I did. I worked tirelessly to try and make this debt right and actually <laughs> make rend a plausible venture for both business and to make it a county again it was nothing look how just far a, it's come just as a side note when you left yeah. the Wild, i roll a die to see what the time dilation was yeah. a 20 is days turn into years and i rolled a 19 oh god <laughs> yeah. so it would have been a much different game if i had rolled that 20 and four years had passed since you entered the Wild. oh yeah yeah so he gives it he gives a heavy sigh and uh, he goes I tired of the argu of the argument. We're in this situation now. One way or the other, the title is staying in the family. You have three months to pay off your debts and keep it in your name. I was gonna say. Oh, I was gonna say three months to produce an error first. I was like, holy shit. Oh my. <laughs> it working. If I do forfeit the title further, I just ask that it doesn't go into the business. It stays separate. It it becomes its own entity. It's it shouldn't be. Titles will pass from legal liege to legal heir. If you produce an heir, a male, it will be your son. If the title falls to me, it will be my brother, and it will go to his sons. But if you bungle this now, it will not fall to you. I'm going to try my best, father. So you should Figure it out. Is set up a shell company... And then transfer all the assets <laughs> offshore. That way you can't touch it. Literally offshore to that little island. Well, wait, you're already offshore. Transfer it onshore. <laughs> yeah. Um, 
Oh, we can. Yeah, that's that's where they're growing any developments in town like, that I should know about. What did you say? I was asking my father if there was any developments in town that I should know about. The town flourishes. War is good for business. Have we levied a tax at all? No! You told them they were exempt! You, you guys could hear this echoing throughout the corridors. Exempt, exempt, exempt. <laughs> uh, ah. I said businesses and merchants were exempt, not their families. Um, For an indefinite period of time, all they have to do is move their families into the business and they don't pay any taxes! No, no. I, I mean, the, the, the business has a building. The people are not. Are, are, are taxable. There's fine print there. I made sure of it. This was, all, this was all verbal, and all he has to go for through is what Arcus and the townspeople have said. And what they all remember is being told they were tax exempt and that there was no time limit on it. Well, the Lord's here. He can change the laws. <laughs> Well, then, yeah, that... We'll have to have a discussion about that. You can't renege on these people. <laughs> Whatever you say, John Galt. <laughs> There's a war going on. I'm sure things can uh, be war persuaded things. that way. He goes... He, he, he kind of scratches his, you know, you know, his beard, and he goes, I'm tired of this conversation. I'm retiring to my chambers. And you see him walk off towards the... Uh, the the chamber that you had previously been occupying in the the main the main tower in the house where there's that pr little private library and leaves you to your about <laughs> he's about you know, he's in the house somewhere I don't know where that immortal cat is gone uh, you want to spend some time looking for him no I'm good uh, is the butler still outside like with the group just kind of like he's just kind of standing there. So well, that was going on. I go over to him, just like uh, so. Um, just just as a question, the last four months, has there been any uh, flames or unexplained deaths in the in this uh, building? <laughs> His eyes go wide, and he goes, "Flames, sir." Yeah, that's that's where you take the the first layer of skin off somebody. <laughs> it's hard to explain. The process. <laughs> he n narrows his eyes at you. And he goes, "Not that I'm aware of." All right, keep an eye out. I surely will. Then he looks over the group and he goes, Will you all be staying the night? The night we all live here. As I exit the room. No. Uh, I'm going back well, to the temple. Actually, Hadrian doesn't, and nor do Rebecca. They need guest rooms. I need to see uh, what's going on with the temples. This would be godfathers. I have, a, I have my no, own. Nobody better attention to any of my stuff. With the army, so... Oh, yeah, that's another thing I need to talk to my father about, the political situation. Okay, so what is everybody... Tyburn wants to uh, check out the temple. I'm going to go take some of that money and settle the guard debt. All right, so that is... However much the total money is, because you haven't still haven't told me. From that 22,000 gold. In, so that's the... I, so I picked up 10,000 in that scramble, you're saying? Yeah. 10,000 in the scramble, and then whatever was in that chest that I snuck well, in. Well, you picked up, you take, the, the chest had 14,000 uh, gold in it, and then you packed the, um, the, what's it called, with as many gold coins as you could, and doing the math, that was about 8,000. Okay, cool. You owe the so, guards yeah. 3,840. I'll, I'll take what I owe the guards, and then next month's on top of that. All right, so plus 160, that's 14, uh, 4,800 gold. Yeah, I'll take 4,800 gold down in the chest that had the... So you empty yeah. that chest out? I think it's the easiest way to get it down there, right? Anybody? Actually, no, I shouldn't use that chest. <laughs> um, I'm not taking that chest out of the room. Um, in fact, I'm going to... Um... Yeah, the other chest from the original big bunch of gold that we wasted. Yeah, yeah, I'll use that chest. Yeah, that's... That's, uh, that's like up a flight of stairs. Yeah. So you go retrieve that chest. So, um, cost one of the rest of you guys. You guys see Art Locks disappear and then come back downstairs with an empty chest and go into the other room. I'm going to go check my room. Make sure nobody touched my to shit. Be, seems to be untouched. 
Can I do an Arcana check, make sure there's no magical bugs? <laughs> yeah, you can do an Arcana check. Seems fine. You don't notice anything. Yeah, I don't trust his father. So you want to... So you, you hear Artlock's uh, counting coins and throwing them into this. You just, you know, you know hear him counting and then just, you know, the, tossing the coins in. It's going to take you a little while to um, count out 4,800. Anybody else doing anything? I'm going to spend an hour and summon a familiar. Okay. <laughs> I love that there's just this warlock sat in the corridor. I'll just summon yep. a familiar. Oh, dude, oh, dude, oh, dude, oh, dude. <laughs> I'm just going to pop my head in and ask Artlock if there's a room I could use. There's guest quarters. Yeah, there's guest quarters. Uh, I'll, um, I'll... Interrupt, you interrupt his count for a second and he loses track. Um, I'm going to summon my, uh, my own servant. I'm still yet to fly out, um, and get him to show you to your room. He is invisible, though, but you should be able to follow him. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Wait, say that again. He's invisible, but you should be able to follow him. He's trained to tap on the walls, like, and lead you via... Like a location. <laughs> like a location. Yeah, but I, I, I've got my unseen servant. His name okay. is Arthur Grimsby. <laughs> so, Ar Arthur. Arthur Grimsby. Uh, you whoom, summon your unseen servant, and uh, he echolocates you to a room. Um, <laughs> Tyburn de departs and goes to the Temple of Helm. Uh, the temple is uh, pretty pretty lively. A lot of people, um, because the main road goes right past the temple, and uh, Helm is the like the great protector. A lot of people come in and um, give donations um, for blessings, and you can see that Guthfried has been is um, uh, basically taken taken over the the day to day worship at the temple and offers people um, travelers mostly uh, blessings of protection from Helm. Uh, and like I said before, it's it's a it's a suggested donation for a blessing. You could get it for free, but they'll give you the stink eye if you don't plop down the five gold. Big grudging protection. Mm-hmm. Uh, after uh, after I check the room, I'm gonna go to Art Locks where he's counting his money. Uh, you, on the floor. you see you see him throwing coins into a chest and just like piles of gold all over the place. Hundred gold. Excuse me? A hundred gold. Four? For staying here and not dying. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna pass I'm gonna hand him a hundred gold. It screws up your account again. That was easy. Yeah. Alright. Should have asked for more. No, no. Cosmo is a simple man. Simple needs. I mean, I do owe it to you, because I promised you more, to be fair. Yeah, yeah, you did. You owe, you owe me a lot more. I do owe you a lot more, but... <laughs> Artlox is very bad at making deals when it comes to money, isn't Artlox has a lot of debts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not he's honest, at, to put it that way. He's good at promising money to people. He's not good at delivering it. No, I, I, I like to try and help people. Okay. And guys, I'm just going to grab a bottle of water. I'll be right back. I'm going to try and have a conversation with Sir Hadrian at one point as well. Find out what's going on with this war, apparently, that's broken out since I've... Yeah. Interesting family you got. Yeah. Yeah, with an in interesting dynamic as well within the family that stops infighting over titles. Except Wait, none of them have been legal, uh, have been noble titles. All of them business titles. If the who's the heir to the business? So the way my oh. family's business works is that. Um, Okay, guys. Uh, the, the there's a so it starts like with one person and um, for example, the how how my father's in the business is that his father 
uh, was the heir to the business and what and then basically the heirs of the business get um, a position in the mainline business and the brothers of the person who's in charge of the business go on to the board of directors but if he has any other sons so for example my father's the third son he gets they slowly get an allowance so the first son goes into the business directly the second son gets an allowance to start his own business and then the third son gets a smaller allowance to make his own business now when my, his father died so my fa grandfather died mm. the business goes to his heir son and the other two become board of directors with their business is being absolved into the main business if that makes sense i understand yeah and the, but the thing is um it's a pyramid they, scheme yeah <laughs> it, there's also a, a rule that um you can't start a business in the same like uh sector as uh another branch of the business so my father went into spice trade and made a bundle the spice must flow so you guys uh Set set on the evening. Would you like to take a rest, replenish everything? Yes, please. Yes, please. Okay. So you guys uh, take your rest, replenish any hit points lost, uh, all your spells and all that stuff. Um, you wake up in your up. home for what for what feels to you hasn't been too long, but from everybody else, several months have gone by. Uh, you make your way downstairs uh, to the smell of uh, you know. Food, cooking, bacon, all that good stuff in the morning. Uh, I and, we uh, leveled up, by the way. I mean, uh, the people who leveled up. Yes. Here in this. Yeah, people yeah, who, people who leveled up can level up here because you are in a safe place. Um, you make your way to the kitchen. You see your father, um, Diana, your betrothed, uh, Arcus, and several servants. Uh, well, they're eating. Several servants are mewing about. You. He looks up and, and, and sees you and kind of weighs you over. Uh, I've changed also into my finer no uh fine like okay. semi noble clothing. Cos was still wearing his robes. I'm I'm gonna tell my father that I'm gonna venture out this morning to go pay the guards for their back pay and the next following month. Um he he looks at you through and through a mouthful of food he goes Make sure you go see Giagushka too. That strange gentleman has work for you. Okay. Who's the lord here? Arlox is. <laughs> I'm technically the lord, but I do need to speak to Gigushku anyway. Uh, and then I'm going to inform Arlox that I'm going to go to the... I have a certain the... demonic mace that needs... Uh, I need to find someone that can help me destroy it. Right, yeah. Did you just say that out loud? No, no. <laughs> oh, yeah, you know, this demonic mace that we found. We're going to kill it, <laughs> Because there's like seven characters here that will, would all be like, yeah. <laughs> okay, so you gotta uh, head down to the town, go see um, Gushka. Yeah, I'm gonna go see Gushka and pay the guards and ask the guards what the what the sort of situation has has been militarily because I know I'm not gonna be able to get that from my father. Okay, so uh, for the sake of brevity here, you go to the town. Um, you go to the off to the. Um, to the, the barracks that's been set up. You deliver the chest. Uh, there's a lot of grumbling, but uh, people come in and start um, gathering their pay as they uh, they come in. Um, you've been informed that the guards ha have spent uh, a lot of t a lot of the time in the interim training. They are very uh, skilled in their in their work now. Uh, the rotations go smoothly. Uh, there isn't a lot of um, issues on the island they basically kind of turned into more of a police force than anything else um uh, helping out people when there's thefts there was uh, a couple guards who were trying to charge their own toll on your side of the bridge and they had to be disciplined and dealt with um but militarily the island is safe and the trade comes through the tavern is always full, people move, moving through the town, going from, you know, uh, from the free uh, states over to Beneventum to where the siege is going on. And there's basically a constant flow of goods and people coming through the town, and the and it's flourishing now. Where before, you know, it looked very, like, haggard and everybody was just kind of, like, mewing about their business, now it's bustling. <laughs> okay. So you're going to go see Giagushka? Yeah. 
All right, so you make his, your way to his shop, and you can see a bunch of people, uh, you know, coming and going. Uh, as you enter, the uh, the shelves and display cases are stocked much uh, denser than they were before. Uh, and you see that Gigushka is behind the, the counter in his traditional, you know, foreign garb. He sees you enter, and you just see his brow fall. Before anything else happens, I need to make an apology. The man from um, Kana should not have taken any of your wares, and I do hope we can resolve that he, matter. He, he looks at you uh, deeply for a second and goes, then you should not have promised it to him. Well, I made sure that the wares that you had weren't actually... F- I saw the contract. Yes, it said from, from the Rend. island of Rend, and none of which... We are on the island of Rend, he screams, and you, you see a couple people kind of, like, look up from what from their wares and, and look at him, and he just kind of, like, uh, uh, tries to calm himself back down again. He goes, we are on the island of Rend. The items are on the island of Rend. My shop is on the island of Rend. You promised me freedom from government oversight. And then the government official comes in here waving a contract in front of me and takes one of my more expensive items for himself. In all you... country, please come to door and collect tax. Yes, <laughs> it's bad. <laughs> it's why I leave old country. Come here and blend the opportunity. <laughs> oh, man. And yes, he shouldn't have gone, come to you, and I, I, I apologize. It will the be... contract was uh, was perfectly valid. I could not stop it. Your name was on it. It was magically binding. I need to have a word with uh, with with that gentleman. Um, well, the way I see it is, you owe me. Get in line. <laughs> I say begrudgingly. I've spoken uh, to your father. He assures me that you will be paying your debts one way or another. And that is definitely true. Um, I have another matter I wish to discuss with you, though. I am listening. It might need somewhere more private. He gives a heavy sigh and ushers you around and he brings you behind the counter through a uh, like a curtain into a back room. And you can see that in the back room it's filled with uh, items with tags on them that haven't been brought out and put on display yet. In my recent travels, uh, <laughs> not only did I get lost for a lot, lot, lot longer than I expected to, but I acquired an item of unsatiable power and evil that needs to be destroyed. It, w- w- with that line, he just kind of like, his eyes go wide and goes, show me this item. Pulls out the wand of Orcus. Uh, as soon as he sees it, he uh, he grabs your wrist and shoves it back in, uh, into the bag. He goes, I do not know where you got that. I do not know how you acquired it, but it was not to be publicly displayed. Do not show it to anyone. Oh, I know that. That's why we're in the private room right now. I am not going to purchase it. I, I don't want you to purchase it. I want you to help me find someone who will know how to destroy it. He gives a heavy sigh for a second. He goes, I may know a man. Well, I I would be more than grateful if you could get in contact with such a man, because I don't think this should be on our plane of existence. (laughs) You just want to banish it to another another plane. That is simple. Well, I, I... I want it to banish... Uh, I want... I. There must be a way to either, one, get it back to that man um, who it once belonged to. It, it did one not without come from having too many... Man. What? Well, it you... did not come from men. I know what it came from. I'm trying to be... <laughs> Just in case there's... Then he thinks for a to... second, he goes, well, the head of mace came from man, but that's it. <laughs> Okay, it either needs to be destroyed or sent so far away that it could never affect us. He will always find 
his weapon of choice, no matter where it is. You in must keep it on yourself and keep it safe, or you must destroy this item. Well, we'll go with the second one. I will keep it on myself and safe until that happens, but... I need to I know go. a man who you can talk to, but he lives very far away. In my homeland. Your homeland. Where is um, that, exactly? A many weeks' journey away. Oh, good. Um, I cannot spare my ship at the moment, though. I... I have a lot of pressing issues here, anyway. I will yes, have you to do. Just you keep... owe me 56,000 gold. That being one of them, yes. I will just keep it hidden until then. No. Speaking of which, I have a job for you. As I've heard. Mm. As, as I said before, I know people and I acquire items. I know people, but I do not have items. I need you to go get item. Where is the item? It's not too far away. It may be dangerous. I will pay you to retrieve it for me. Let me pay off your debt. Yeah, that's what I was going <laughs> to Coswin, You see Coswin's head pop around from the curtain. Will that pay off the debt? <laughs> will that pay off the debt I owe you? It would make a dent. What's the item? It's the headdress. It was an ancient item, thousand year old. All you, do is, all you need to do is travel to location, retrieve headdress, and bring it back to me. I will take care of the rest. I will... You do this, we will talk about getting you to see my friend. Okay, I will... I will undertake that when I next leave the right. area. He, gives, he tells you uh, the uh, the location of an ancient um, in, uh, uh, city, or more of a town in the Empire that was like a um, it was like a resort city, and there was also a um, an imperial funer funerary complex in the adjacent area. It is um, south, um, built into the uh, the mountains, that spur line that runs like crescent-shaped across the south side of the map. Okay. You gotta head towards a Smuggler's Run, and then follow the, the river that runs past it, up into the mountains, and it's near there. Okay. If he marks it on the map, I'll, uh... It's basically all the way... It's, it's, it's basically where you're going is just slightly off the map south of Smuggler's Run. That was horrific. I just opened my Snapchat for my girlfriend, and there's an image of a weeping angel. Oh my god. Oh god. <laughs> Yeah, except it was half like away, so it was like this. <laughs> like, I see you. But every image, uh, but even an image of an angel is an angel. So she's just put a weeping angel into my phone. Mm. That's a, effectively what's happened there. But okay, I conclude my business with Gigushka and uh, return to the house um, because I'm sure there's people there that need to speak to me. <laughs> Uh, there's nobody there that needs... Well, there's nobody from the town that needs to speak to you because they've been dealing with Art Lau for the last four months. Yeah, no, but I'm sure my father would like another word. Um, okay. And I'm sure there's a, a certain knight that was sent to find me that's currently in a guest quarters. Okay, so you make your way back to the house. Uh, Tyburn will have returned from the temple, having spent the night, and everybody is there. There is also now a crab on the dining room table. All right. Apparently, there's a crab walking around. Is it alive? Yeah, it's alive. It is this your familiar for the day? It is the familiar for my for my life. Oh. You got a crab. Yes, Just I got, got a crab. crab. Got crabs. <laughs> if the crab could glare at Coswin, it glares at Coswin. <laughs> right. Well, Fucking I'm going to inform Artlock that I'm going to head back to the army. Um, if he's interested in joining me. May I travel with you, Sir Hadron? Okay, splitting the party? Well, I need to, uh, I, I'm gonna double check with Art Lau if there's anything, um, I, he needs me for before I go to, in, to 
the mm, he informs you that he's been you. doing just fine administering the realm for the last four months without you getting in the way. Is there anything politically he would like me to focus on, or shall I just carry on as I was? You need to figure out your wedding preparations. <laughs> No, that's Lucky the there's a Temple of Helm. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and you, know the, you know the head priest? Yeah. That's not really yeah. Helm's bag. <laughs> is uh, is the patrol there in the dining room? Yeah. Oh, Cosman goes up to her and uh, offers his hands. Oh, Cosman, keeper of the arcane. <laughs> <laughs> she she looks Cosman at you. She's flying with my future. <laughs> She she just looks up at you and you know she this is, you're the first one who has spoken to her. She's just like, I'm Diana. Yeah, I got that. I need to. I guess Pull I should probably down. have a conversation with Diana. She looks over at top, uh, uh, Cosmo. She goes, we, so you can cast all, spells. How interesting. Are we all sitting in the uh, dining room? Still. Yeah. I'm just slowly feeding my crab bacon. You see Art Lau, uh, Art Lox's, uh father get like like a really big like two pronged like well, like tongs you, and start you, going. You like can't this. you can't kill it, sir. <laughs> he goes. It sounds like a wager to me. And he goes. Pwah! It disappears. Oh. <laughs> and then just reappears on the other side of the table. <laughs> he looks. He looks disappointed. It, it's a magical crab. You've got magical crabs. <laughs> 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 oh man! All right. So, what are you guys doing? I guess I should try and find about a bit more about my wife to be. Um, her name is Diana. Where is she, she is, from? She is. Oh God, I can't. Uh, hang on. How I much is her dowry? Her. And is she an elf? <laughs> she's hey, a human. She she's oh, a human. God. Okay. She's from uh, she's from the same town. I can't fucking remember, and I can't find the notes I wrote her um, information. Oh, she's that. from she's... my home. Yeah. Oh, I've oh, got okay. that map. Where's it at? Yeah. She's from Coswin Land. Coswin Land. Coswin Land. Uh, Ro and Ro um, her yeah. parents are um, uh, uh, wealthy business owners, just like yours are. So he okay. knew her parents, and they had a daughter, and she had a son, and. It was a mar it's a, it's a marriage of convenience. Convenience. They agreed to bet betroll you guys. Uh, it's either Fall Meadow or Faircrest. Can you send me a copy of that map? I can't remember where mine. I, I, I lost my copy of it somewhere. Yeah, just put it in tabletop chat. Yeah. So I had it in my D and D stuff, and now I can't find it. So I must have accidentally deleted it. Oh, it was from Fall Morrow, so it wasn't there. I think it was Faircrest. So it must have been Faircrest. Yeah, it's the coast. Whatever, whichever one of the coastal town was, I think. Yeah. Because I remember I had written down that her parents were, um, uh, uh owned a shipping business, transporting oh, goods. Okay, I see where that's going then. <laughs> Asked yeah. about the dowry. It, would I know her then? Nope. You may you may uh, recognize like the family name, but you wouldn't know her personally. So I'm, I'm very. It's very strange that there's another human family in the Elven land. Yeah, Faircrest is where I was from. Because that's all elven country, so it's very. In so I, I wouldn't. I, yeah, and it's weird that there's a fucking elf in human town. What of it? <laughs> it's a human and elf. Not wrong. I mean, my my Racist, father. Racist. You should be used to this shit. Well, yeah, yeah, my my father got belittled for having a human wife. So. Uh... Well, he's a race traitor, obviously. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem. Right. Um. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go. Uh. And. See what the political situation is. Yeah, her name is Diana Canelia, and her family owns like a shipping business. Basically, they own a lot of ships, transporting goods. S spell the last name. Uh, it is C O N N E L I A. C O N N E L I A. I A. It's like a 
Latin name. Diana Canelia. It's very right. rogue. So what's the, what's what's the uh, what's the plan then, guys? I'm I'm gonna. Are we going go to go with and Sir see? Are we going to go and see Lord um Lord Edmund at the siege? I need to definitely inspect that siege. Or maybe Von Edmund. <laughs> Count von Edmund, Edmund. von Edmund Karstein. I mean, I should probably report back that I'm no longer on leave. Yes, we well, won't want you to go to the wall. Um. Actually, that's a thing. Do we have any flags, like a banner of our own? I'm not sure if that's a thing. Do we have? Yeah. Do I have a banner? Is there a, no, no, but is there no country. You you had um uh uh, uh Guthfried and or Matilda, Guthfried's wife, yeah. making up um banners and, and uh tabards Tabard. and stuff. Okay. So uh so, Yeah, they, 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 there's there's some spares hanging around the house. Good, because I think we should take a banner with us. <laughs> like on a have one of the people come with us as a banner holder. Who's gonna be holding your banner? Who wants to be a bannerman? Any of you guys? Harry, I, I can well have my. I, I was gonna All say right. I can have my squire carry it for you. No, I'll get Parry to do it. Parry, okay, okay. Parry. Because Parry also has a horse, therefore he can ride with the banner. Uh -huh. like, so you're going to uh, going to go see Edmund? Uh, we're gonna go to the camp. Okay. At least. Uh, I don't right, know if so you guys... wants to be with us. I will go with you if you will let me. I'm assuming everybody's gonna go. Yep. All right, so guys, mount up yep. on your various yeah, horse. steeds. Uh, Perry awkwardly carrying your your banner or, or locks, and it wasn't was it the one with the ship or the other one? I can't remember. Ship. All right, it's got a ship on it. Seeing that he's carrying it awkwardly, I will volunteer to carry it since I right. know what I'm doing. So you you, you grab it from him and uh, uh, manage to hold it much more steady. Than Perry was, and you guys make your way to the uh, the encampment. Uh, there are pickets all along the exterior, and you see guardsmen everywhere and armed soldiers as far as the eye can see. Thousands. There's a tent city. There are two siege towers under construction. Thousands of soldiers at the siege of Ostia. I'm just gonna okay. We'll plant the banner by the horse. What? Horses. Would you like to use for my tent? Oh my. Uh, not like that. Before I agree to that, who are you a knight for? I am a knight of Malventum. <laughs> However, I was dispatched by Lord Kenwall to assist you. Well, four months that, ago. That, that'll be fine then. I would also like to see Lord Kenwall if possible before I see. I'm sure he's in Lord Edmund's tent. They're all on the Council of War. Oh my. Mm -hmm. so I Again. Mm -hmm. council. So, uh, well, you guys... know what I mean. <laughs> Not necessarily a council, but uh, I can't, you know, leadership. All those officer people. I'm with so you. I'm with you. You guys are going to make your way towards, like, the command tent? I guess so. Yeah. All right. All right, so you guys make your way over. It's pretty easy to see. It's a pretty organized tent city with uh, paths and, you know, the you know, grid sections set up and whatnot. As make your way towards the center of the, the camp, there's a couple guards standing outside, but when they sir see Sir Hadrian um, and him he, him escorting you guys in, you uh, they nod you past. Uh, you'll have to leave the banner outside, and you plant it in the ground right next to the other two, which are Edmunds and the mysterious one you haven't uh, like identified yet. Thoughts. Uh, and you guys make your way into the the tent. Inside, there is you know you see the normal um, uh, tables and chairs and and what and whatnot set up. You see a large map of the city laid out, and you can see that there is Edmund and there is Borkvard in there uh, discussing the siege. They haven't noticed you enter. Is there anyone else in there? Is it just... Just the two of them. 
I will announce the entrance of <laughs> right. so you kinda, Art Locks. You, ca you kind of clear your throat and uh, get their attention and then introduce uh, Sir Art Locks of House Allendil. I'm just kind of Lord like of Rend. <laughs> and uh, Art Locks, you, 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 you blush. And uh, I'm still the, not used to hearing that. <laughs> the two the two figures look up, exchange a look with each other, and then they both give you a big smile. And you you see Edmund wave you, and he goes, "Come, come, friend, come in." I tentatively shake myself off and walk towards the 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 siege planning that they seem to be undergoing. Has he suddenly developed a thick Transylvanian accent? <laughs> <laughs> No, he is sounds he like Count. Is he now the Count from Sesame Street? Uh, Borkvard <laughs> walks up silver? to you and offers offers you his good hand in a shake. I grab it. He gives you he gives you a good hearty shake. He says, it's good to see you again, friend. And you, I'm surprised you made it out of the tower, both of you. No, oh, yes, all the way down the stairs before it collapsed. You went it's, up the how stairs. Many people, how many people? You must be mistaken. We went down. How many people are in here? It's it's Art Locks and us, and then it's Art. It's all you guys, Borkvard, Edmund, and there's uh, several thousand guards. Or uh, you know, there's an entire there's an entire military encampment outside. Okay, and there's several the guards. Uh, and there's the several guards standing right outside the entrance to the tent. But you were the, gonna, the only ones on the inside. I'm gonna Arcana check. Okay. What are we Arcana checking? Let's see if Borkvard's Borkvard and Edmund's Edmund. I probably have a better chance with Edmund because I've met him and slapped uh, him. He, he looks like Edmund and Borkvard's Borkvard. May I do an insight check? Do, on I, do well? I perceive anything different of them? Because I'm a bit well, more guarded what, what, are you than what are you trying to insight? All they've done is said hello. Uh, I'm, I'm no, they, they gave even us contradictory information because they went up the stairs when they left the room, they did not go to the downstairs. Two different passages. So they would have had to double back through the room to go down the stairs before it collapsed. And we didn't, and none of us yeah, saw them I'm do that. Yeah, I'm trying to... Like, I'm, that was only a day ago to three of these guys. Like, <laughs> ben, I'm trying yeah. to... I, that's what I'm specifically looking at. I'm, I'm trying to see if there's any telltale signs of them lying. Okay. When it comes to that. I mean, we've already encountered a fake cork card, so there's probably <laughs> a little bit of... Nope. <laughs> I, okay, as I know Borgvard quite well, I traveled with him for a long time. Can I try and perceive if he seems different? You traveled with him for a month. Uh, <laughs> a month's a while. He's just perception. He he looks like Borgvard. Maybe a little worse for wear these days, having taken some injuries and some new scars and things like that. Hello, Edmund, my good friend, who I've never done anything to. He offers his hand to you, and do uh, you shake it? You're not Edmund. Uh, I'm gonna look at Coswin like warily. Are you gonna shake his hand? Did you Ooh. did you say that out loud, uh, Roach? You, you're not Edmund. No, no, I didn't say that out loud. But no. oh, okay, I thought you were saying that. Uh, so so Ed, Edmund well, no, kind I said, of. I, I said the thing where hello Edmund, all that stuff. I didn't mm -hmm. say the, the last bit. Oh, yeah. He offered his hand for you to shake it. I don't shake it. Hmm. He uh, he he looks at you and he goes, huh, "One more tally for the list, then, I guess." Uh, he turns around and goes back down to the t uh, back down to the table and uh, starts like re just looking over the, uh, the the plans again. He goes, "So, sir Artlocks, what can I do for for you these days?" I. I've been away for a while. I was wondering how, how the situation lies with the whole... The siege goes well. The town has been invested. Uh, the outbuildings have been destroyed to clear way for our siege towers. All goes well. No word from your brother, then? He's holed up inside somewhere. But he hasn't tried to make... He's not sallied forth yet, no. How long have you been sieging? Several months now. They must have arrived. As soon as the snows that. melted, we marched south in force. Uh, 
How long after that? How long was that after the tower? Oh, the tower. Uh, me and Borkfard made our way back north to Maleventum. He's a good traveling companion, full of very interesting stories. Um, a little boisterous for me, though. And uh, made our way back up to Maleventum, waited out the winter, and headed south. Uh, ben, while they're talking, they're facing away from us, right? They're all. You're in a tent. Yes, but like, their backs are to us, correct? Why would they turn their backs no, to you? No, you're facing them. Oh, okay. Because why would they just randomly back. turn their backs to the people that entered? It's like, they're talking to each other and you're all in this big group. Ah, okay. See Borkfard start, like, shifting little pieces around on the table. With his good hand. How is Maleventum? He lo uh, uh, Edmund looks over, he goes, Maleventum's fine, it is leagues away from the siege. I meant dealing, I meant with the status of the undead. They've melted back Hollywood. into the forest and all is well again. The trade routes are safe. Thank the gods. Well, I guess our job's done, hey, Adrian? Has Edmund has changed, like, mentally. It's quite clear, like, is what I'm... He's confident. Mature. He's matured, rather, yeah. If you'll excuse me, I'm going to step out for a moment. Rebecca leaves. I leave, and then I find a place where, like, no major guards are staring at me, and I'm going to cast the tech thoughts. And then you are in a military encampment... By a command Near the tent. commander's tent, there is, is no there... place you can get where nobody would see, within sight of the tent, where nobody's going to be able to see you. Hmm. Can't you do that without? Can't you do to take thoughts without anyone seeing? This is true. I only need vocal, so I'll just mutter so you myself. Have to be a, so you have to be able to say it. So you yes. should all, just to take thoughts. So I'll, I'll I'll just I'll just talk to myself outside for a second and then go back in <laughs> to the so guards. I just detect see thoughts. Detect thoughts. Hang on. Let me look at my compendium here. Make sure I know how this works. Great little website. D and D five E compendium. There you go. I put it up on the uh in the chat. I'm gonna ask. Edmund, what he remembers of the tower. Components, verbal, somatic, and material. Material, I don't, I don't need because um. Okay, you still need to be book. able to talk, and you need to be able to use your hands. So it's going to be pretty evident if you're doing this. Okay, I'll do that, and then cast prestigitation on something as if I was just cleaning something. Sweet. To a guard, it would just look like I've just cast a spell to do something. To clean something or something of that you're sort. Cl you're cleaning what? What are you trying to make this look like you're doing? Cleaning my boots. All right, my roll boots a are a little muddy. Roll a deception check. Would I get advantage since they don't know what the fuck magic is? Uh, everybody knows what know. magic is. Well, they don't know what what I'm doing. Personally. No, you don't have advantage. Okay. All right. You 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 think you pulled it off? All right. I nod to the guards friendly. Friendly like and make my way back into the tent. I ask Edmund what he remembers of the tower. Oh, it's a horrible man. He's going to sacrifice me for his fell ritual. Thank God you came and saved me. Thank God. Oh, whatever God you worship. I'm um, a bit open to it myself. While we're talking, I'm going to cast cast about and look at the surface thoughts of both Borkvard and uh, Edmund. All right, you can do one. I can switch between the two. Over. All right, you're going to do action. one as an action. You can't yes. do two things at once. I know. All right, so for the duration, you can read the thoughts of certain creatures when you cast the spell, and as your action on each turn until the spell ends, you can focus your mind on one creature, which is 30 feet. If the creature... Intelligent three or lower does speak. The creature is unaffected. Learn surface thoughts of the creature. What is most on its mind at the moment? As an action, you can either shift your attention to another creature or attempt to probe deeper into the same creature's mind. If you probe deeper, the target must make a wisdom saving throw. If it fails, you gain insight 
for uh, insight into its reasoning, if any, its emotional state, and something that looms large in its mind. Okay, so who are you focusing on Pork first? Forest, since he's not directly in the conversation. So, so you're just trying to think the figure out the surface what, what thoughts. What his basic thoughts are currently, the surface thoughts. Okay, and this is wisdom. What's your DC? Uh, I don't have to roll for oh, the you don't, uh, surface unless you, thoughts. I'm not probing probe. deeper. Because All right. Um, so you 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 uh, focus your attention on Borkvard, and Borkvard's thoughts um, are primarily focused on the. Um, the siege, and they seem to be, he seems to be very interested in um, launching an assault rather than waiting for uh, the siege to uh, end due to attrition. Okay. I would then, after doing that, telepathically tell Artlocks that. So you just hear so that in your you, mind. You just Artlox. hear a whisper into the back, a feminine whisper in the back of your head. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna keep probing um oh my keep probing uh edmund oh, oh, I, I, i'm a little example. surprised you haven't met with your brother to discuss terms i arrived outside the walls with my army i asked him to come out and he refused and the siege pro uh, progressed so no attempt was made to i attempted to open a dialogue and he refused just outright refused didn't say anything else I got no response from my dear brother. If it indeed is my dear brother, some people say not. Such a weird situation. <laughs> We've got two people that aren't themselves. One of which likes me but could technically now be evil. <laughs> and one of Are you really that opposed to evil at this point? I'm trying to, to be. be <laughs> Morality has very quickly spiraled into the grayness of the abyss. So, what is, you got any other questions for Do you? Do you know what happened to Lady Kiva after the tower? Uh, he, he looks over you, Tybert, and he goes, I saw Lady Kiva die. I'm assuming that, uh, she perished in the collapse. Yep. What happened to Lady Kiva? You would actually know her in passing, Adrian. Yeah. Uh, as that, a fellow knight, yeah, you know who yeah, she is. Yeah, that's why, I, with a worried tone, what, what Lady happened to Kiva Lady Kiva? Lady Kiva, indeed, was sacrificed to the ritual. And we tried to recover her body when we escaped, but... I uh, probably wouldn't have said that part, but... Uh, sec... Ritual? They were... Sacrificed? Um... Borgvard, Edmund, Lady Kiva, and another two of our friends were, uh, captured by a necromancer. That's one reason... This, that's the tower we speak of. That's the event. That's the event. That's the quest we were on uh, that we got lost in. After the tower collapsed, uh, we ourselves got stuck and um, couldn't escape until. It looks over. He goes. Thankfully, they did uh, assist me and my new minister of war here, in our escape down the staircase to the bottom. Who was this necromancer? You know the tower that traders had been claiming was getting larger and larger, Adrian? Yes. We started to help. There was a necromancer there that was trying to summon some horrid abomination. No, you saw her as a woman. Only I saw her as the abomination. No, well, I, I, I said I trying to summon some kind of horrid abomination. I, I, I understand this, but what was their name? Did we actually get a name from them? We learned he nope. was called, known as the Deceiver, but that was he, about he, it. he was called the Deceiver. Never, but they, you, yeah, you, that's what he was real called, name, but you guys never found out his real name. A real name I do not know. Uh huh. So, Artlocks, 
Where do you go from here? Is there anything you need of me, Edmund? Maybe... As I'm... He, lo he looks at you and he goes, oh, I need the supplies to flow. I, I need to make sure that uh, my um, shipments of uh, food and wood uh, and other materials continue to flow uh, unopposed through rent. So that's all I need from you, good sir. Don't need me to maybe try and negotiate with your brother at all? Get him to give up the siege early? Uh, I think we are past negotiations at this point. Uh, I'm going to turn to Borkvard and ask him if he has a timeline for the assault when he thinks it's going to happen. Uh, he looks at you and goes, if it was up to me, we would assault today! And he slams his hand down on the on the table. Uh, and, you know, some of the some little pieces go scattering. And then he sighs for a second and he goes, Lord Edmund would like the siege towers complete before we assault the walls. Do, do we have a a, a timeline of when though we think those will be done? Uh, several weeks, at least. Okay. Well, I still want to be the first one over the wall. So you shall. First bad, the dead, dead bad. Yep. <laughs> Tie up the fens. I turn to Sir Hadrian. Sir Hadrian, uh, would you mind taking me to your lord? I, I want him. I want to thank him personally for um, dispatching em emissaries such as yourself to. At, at, at that moment, uh, Edmund interrupts you and, and he holds up his hand and he goes, "Lord Kenwall and the other nobles have been sent away back to their homes. Their presence is not needed on the battlefield. Their presence is needed to administer their." own particular realms. I did not need their physical arms to aid in the assault. But aren't there banner soldiers here? They are. They serve me now. Just you. He looks at you and goes, Sir. Just you. Sir. That's it. <laughs> I would thought it would be very good Your for grace. the individual army's morales to have their leaders here. Denuding the countryside of both the primary workforce and the leadership was uh, detrimental to the economies. He's got a point. It's not wrong. Too many cooks in the kitchen, as it were. Their men serve me loyally. And when the siege is completed, they will return home, their pockets laden with booty. There's a booty. <laughs> <laughs> Very well. I will, uh... See if I can't, um... See what the holdup is with the bridge. In passing, would I have ever been told about the rest of their party, so like Aquilius and Elric? But I have knowledge of them. Probably not. Okay. I just didn't know if there was like some gossip that passed between. They're me not. And they're they're, the, they're uh, not really uh, known in the realm, as it were. They didn't really make names for themselves before fading into the distance. And as as I leave, I'm gonna I'm gonna. Turn the Play. phrase. Uh, a, uh, helm protects and Apius Major watches and leaves the tent. <laughs> they give they give you curt nods and then go back to their their business of planning and you exit the tent. Like Artlocks and Tyburn might be known locally, uh, you know, in passing, but everybody else probably not. Especially well, Coswin, who makes it makes an effort to not be known. Well, I didn't like, know if it was something with, that with few when exceptions. I'm... I didn't know. Like if when was... he threatens people, they remember him. Yeah, I didn't know if it was something I would have. I Good. Would have, like, in, like knowledge mm -hmm. I would have picked up when I was sent south to meet with Artlock, or when I met with Lady Kiva before. Okay. So, uh, I'm gonna. We're only going for another twenty minutes, right? Yeah. yeah. All right. So you've okay. spoken to Edmund. You've seen Borgfard. Um, 
And you know the siege won't progress for at least a few weeks while they build the siege towers. Um, I suggest we go back to the the, the relative quiet of Rend. And, I like that uh, idea. And discuss things. All right, you guys make your way back to Rend, back to your house. You're greeted by the same ornery um, uh, servant. I'm going to ask you his name this time. Oh, uh, yep. Uh... I'm actually going to bring my, my servant with me as well. Pick him up from my tent at the, in the. His park. name's Obear. Obear. Oh, oh dear. His name's Obear. So, what is the plan? Um. Well, I want to have a conversation. Um. With, for example, for, mainly for Tyburn, because Tyburn kind of clears up political situations for me. <laughs> Use your problem solver. Do we just want to swing with the Edmund thing right now? What, other, gonna... what else would you want to do? Well, yeah, I do have another quest that I need. I might need to sort. Um, but I mean, do we want to actively assist in the siege? Doesn't sound like he wants anybody to help with the siege. Yeah, which I can't understand why. Like, Sir Hadrian, is is it normal for your liege to who is the liege of the biggest army in the land, the only standing army in the land, to leave the command of his troops to another, one of ill battle experience? Uh, and... There hasn't been a siege in living memory, so anything involved in that would be pretty new, but it would be a little unorthodox for Lord Kenwall to depart his own his own army. Yes, Unorthodox, it is. but not, you know, but not insane. It is unorthodox, but I can see not wanting to leave their cities unadministered by by the leaders of the cities. I'm gonna exposition dump to Lord Hadrian, the fact that we saw Edmund die in the ritual and they get He's brought back by the next. What? He's not a lord. I'm just a lowly knight. I said Sir Hadrian. You said lord. You said oh, lord. Did I, sorry. I, mean, I, lo I love that you call everybody yourself a British person? refuses to call Edmund a, a, a lord or sir, but, and then but just, just calls... dump it on other people <laughs> randomly. So, okay, Sir Hadrian, that Lord Edmund died. And was brought back by the necromancer, and we suspect him to be a vampire, um, or a lycanthrope, or a lycanthrope, or something of uh, not nice nature. Not to drop a fell. bombshell and anything on you. And and the fact that <laughs> Bullfrog was chasing him down and got bitten by him, going the opposite direction than the way to get out of the tower. Yeah, and they went up the stairs, as in to the top of the tower, not down. So, Mark, I mean. People can live through weird circumstances, but it's a one-handed dwarf. I'm not sure he could live. <laughs> and you ended up in the middle of a pool covered up in Beneventum. Yes, Technically, because I'm in, told we in, went to the Feywild through a portal. In, 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 the, ta in the tower in the, uh, in the same chamber, where that way where they went up from, we fell through a portal, which took us to the Feywild, which we spent several days... I don't remember too much of it. I remember waking up in a Fey hospital because I was rendered, rendered stupid vegetable, <laughs> vegetableized, <laughs> and um, the others brought me to safety there. Also, Parry mm. was ill; uh, he had been infected with chaos um, phage, chaos phage. Yeah. which they treated him for. And then we escaped through the other end of that portal, which is that water pool you saw us in. Right. <laughs> I'm about to say, from your point of view, you have no no reason to believe that that pool was a portal to another plane of existence. How else did we end up underneath a giant slam? Do, do we do we just lift it, go in, and then put it back on? Like and without then fail to get out of it, and then have a hard time fleeing. 
Believe me, if I had the ability to teleport wherever I wanted to teleport, I would be using it right now. I mean, I, I can believe teleportation of some sort. I mean, I'm not... Uh, Listen, I go to other planes all the time. Of me, it's not that hard. Ignorant. You go to the but, great waiting room in the sky for minutes at a time, Coswin. But but to say <laughs> that Lord Edmund and Borkfart are not who you who they say they are is seems like a lot of that has happened in Ostia and well, other yeah, places. Because we were the people that said Sigmund wasn't the person we said he was, and in fact that he has something wrong with him, which he definitely does as well. And all How of it is I'm starting to question if you are who you say you are. I was say, you, you just went, he's not, Edmund's not who he says he is. He's all weird. And Sigmund too? I sound completely insane, but if you'd seen the story from my perspective, you'd be as They're rational They're all internet pedophiles, don't you understand? <laughs> <laughs> They're all turkin' the turkin' the frog's gay. <laughs> oh, what the fuck is that guy's name? Alex, oh, Alex Jones. Jones. He is yeah. the greatest, greatest you, comedian. You see the uh, the end of that clip? The water's turning the frogs uh, gay. Buy my water filters. <laughs> yeah, no, I remember. Yeah, that was a uh, that was a uh, it was a it was a pitch for something. Yeah, it was selling. a pitch for sell water filters. Yes. Anywho. So what are you guys doing? I'm got about 15 minutes to make up a plan. Well, a plan for what? What? <laughs> There's there, all all we've done is walk around and say that nah, they're not who they say they are. That's all we've done so far. Well, I mean, uh, to I, be I, honest, I think we should implement minutes. contingency napalm and just <laughs> blow up the our island. hands of this entire plot line and get on a new railroad. Just, just nuke it <laughs> somewhere else. I'm actually kind of okay with that plan. There's nothing else to do here. We backed Edmund, and right now that's coming to fruition with him sieging Ostia. Like, oh, that's no, happening made, right he now. He made me a vampire. Yeah. He made me a vampire. Yeah. Do we care about him being this a vampire? This is true. This Why is true. I have, have no problem with that. Werewolf, we're just yeah, a person. Does him being a vampire make him evil? Yes. Yes, it does. <laughs> but that's beside the point. <laughs> the I think. I think the question yeah. is: Do you care if he's evil? Cosmo yeah, doesn't but, care, but I, live here. <laughs> I care if our liege lord is now going to be a vampire. Your no. liege lord, my good Why? sir. Why? Well, do you... okay. yes. oh, so why I directed that at Cosmo. Why well, okay, do you so... care? Why does Artlox care? So, because I don't have any better way of saying this, I'm worried it's going to come back to bite me. Okay, no, self-preservation. Self-preservation is a great motivator, but we can't do anything about it right now. Oh, okay. okay. First off, don't, aren't you interested in what's going on on the other side? Why these people are... Everyone's acting strange? Why all these things are happening now? Not really. I I I care that if Sigmund honest, wasn't no. as him wasn't the way he was. He's not the first person we've seen that it was the way he was. Either. Right. And sure. I've also now got to go find something. Oh yeah, by the way, I've got to now go find something for Gugushka because I need to pay off more debts. Um, I mean, another, let's be, another good reason wait. to maybe they actually leave. Wait, let's be let's be um, honest here. If we could like like the, if we had to deal with Edmund. If we have to deal with him, and we all know what that means, if we have to deal with Edmund... I, I do not know what that means. <laughs> you know, if we have to Why deal with him, the best, the best way of dealing with Edmund would be during the battle when they breach the walls and we Tyrion Lannister him. Okay? <laughs> okay, first off... I First, what I does that mean? Push. Ambush him when he's on the shitter? First no, off. no, Tyrion no. Lannister, the Battle of Backwater. The King's oh, okay. Guard. First yeah, off, yeah, yeah. I, 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 hit the I face of the like, big sword. I feel like Edmund is not going to be at the front of the army. He's going to sit back in his tent. Even second better. Off, second off, wouldn't this be a good chance to start getting money for your, to pay off your debts? Considering he said that everyone's going to be leaving with their pockets full of, dare I say it, booty. So, so what you're saying is that we need to loot Ostia to pay off the the vassal of Ostia's debt. But that's yes. the problem is, if, and then, <laughs> then we have to be a part of that 
assault force because it's not like it's not like the soldiers going to give up with their their loot. So we have to go in well, there. I, 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 I think what he's, he's saying is that you should all become highwaymen. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm you just saying... camp the road to the north and <laughs> ambush people in their sleep. No, well, I'm not saying that. I'm saying join the assault, get into, oh, I don't know, the temple, because I'm interested in the temple because of my own investigation, what's going on with all these people not acting like who they are. I don't know. Loot some shit. I, the, I'm sure the blacksmiths have stuff to take worth <laughs> money. <laughs> You're saying steal from Aquilus' family. I like that. <laughs> There's a manor house that can be looted. There's opportunity for you to benefit from this assault, not just getting who you wanted to be your liege lord. Yeah, don't you get it, guys? We can rape and pillage. So you're saying I should become... Uh, we're going to put this into Elder Scrolls for Oblivion. I'm going to become the hero of Kavach, and uh, we're going to play off that title for the rest of our day. Okay. Well, I mean, I guess. I was just thinking being a part of the assault, get money while you're on the inside. I get the information I want from the temple, or I try to get it. You can get money to pay off your debts, because you're ridiculously in debt, because I don't know why. You're ridiculously in debt. Plus, it sounds like a good time fighting. I, you know, yeah, it could be fun. Okay, we either got we either do that or we can go into the underdark and uh, clear out that. Uh, oh, go, go, dark. go into the underdark and just walk until you can't remember where you came wait, from. Wait, un underdark? Oh yeah, there's a there's a gateway to the underdark beneath my house that um, is currently infested with Drogger, I think, uh, in, in the deeper. Dark. We've cleared one level. There was a, a beholder kin in there, and uh, we managed to loot that area. As, um, Sometimes a bit weird, but um, what beneath is that. What's wrong with you people? <laughs> oh, we these things happen to us. This just happens to us. We, we don't try. The worst luck in the world. Um, I... You know that. Ever since I met one of the storm, the ever since I met the these people inside of a, a in an assault of Ostia than being with you right now. Much safer going over the wall, in fact. Well, unfortunately, you're you've pledged to support our locks. Uh, well, I was sent by my liege lord, yes, and I will continue as ordered. Indeed. So we just need to have a discussion. Do we want to join the assault or not? Yes. The assault's weeks away. Well, yeah, I mean, if do we want to things... tell Ed, do we want to tell Edmund and Borgvard that we want to be a, 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 a fighting factor of the assault. Why don't we do this? Why don't we go down to the Smuggler's Run and talk to that wizard guy that uh, we took his slave from and... Monty. See about, <laughs> yeah, and see about, uh, Wait, see about that slave? mace thing you stole you someone's have. slave? Oh, well, we didn't Perry. steal him. Perry, but you see Perry just going like this. I mean, I've got someone seeing... If I get this thing for Gear Gushka, he's going to talk to someone about the mace, but it wouldn't hurt to get talk to mace. Monty in the way. Uh, you know, if you keep asking questions about things you haven't been told, we're going to be here all day. Um, I'm sorry, it's just... With um, everything that you've told me so far... But the place I need to go to is on the way of Smuggler's Run. I do need to... South, then? I need to talk to Dinkit, though, before we leave. Who's Dinkit? He's a gnome in Karma. What do you need to talk to him about? I need to cancel the extra troops he sent. I gotta say, for sake of uh, narrative, your father took care of that. Okay. Um, he's, uh, he's a pragmatic businessman. He wasn't paying for troops he didn't need. Okay, fair enough. Um... Also, it's you like everything take a look. that he does is a burn to uh, poor art locks. <laughs> or, like, you should also find, like, a uh, a painter and have a full-done portrait and have it replaced while your father's out of the house. <laughs> and <laughs> when he comes back, his painting's on the ground or on the side. And yours is put up there. Or, or, or just yours, yours, is yours is slightly larger next <laughs> to his. 
no, no, no. It's, they've just painted my face over his. <laughs> <laughs> just the, the midge mask. I, I just want to know where he got that from. Did he bring it with him? Did he think he'd need it? Or does he always keep it with him in the... <laughs> he keeps it in the chest. It's his uh, identification. Uh, okay, so you guys got to head south? I'm going to show my father I'm going to head south in order to repay some of my debt with um, Bugushka and um, to sort some matters around Smuggler's Run. Um, on, on the way out of um, Rend again, I, I suggest we tell Edmund maybe that we would like to aid in the, uh, aid in the assault when time comes due. I know Sir Hadrian okay. would like to. I already told Bart about this, so... Okay. And yeah, that yeah. We, we hope to be back in time for the main assault. Okay, so for the sake of brevity, you guys take care of that uh, and make your way down to Smuggler's Run. Do you... Uh, are you going to go see Monty? Yes. Uh, Perry is going to opt to stay out of sight outside of the shop. Should we... Uh... Should we call it there? Because we got four minutes left in the session, and uh... almost, almost. We got ten minutes left. So. We have, we have four minutes left of the session. It is eleven twenty-six. Yeah, we didn't start exactly on time though. My my live counter is at three three hours fifty. Oh, okay, it's it's close enough. So you're going to see Monty. Mm-hmm. Well, what are you doing? So so you empty your Monty shop. It's been quite a while since you've been in there. Has uh, anything changed? Looks the same. Oh, there's a new corpse on the ground. Looks like Monty. Small. <laughs> it's small. It's musty. Um, it looks like it uh, could pro possibly hold many more magical items uh, in books, but just doesn't have the stock. Uh, and there's Monty. Old, gray hair, balding, Order. big glasses, behind the counter. He looks at, He looks up at you and is just, y y yes, what, what, what can I do for you? Um, we're, um, investi investigating a delicate matter into the destruction of a, um, uh, of a very dark magical item. Mm, okay, okay. Oh, show me the item. He kind of, like, takes off his glasses and rubs his eyes. I, I don't think I should show you the item. Oh, uh, then I can't help you very well. Be on your uh, way. Uh, uh, but, do you have any uh, the, the books on the uh, uh, dark gods? And I, I could probably point it out from the book. <laughs> I think it's safer where it is. He looks up at you and his eyes a little wider now. He goes, No, what are you trying to destroy now? Yes, sir. Do you, do you have the, the, the book on the devil? <laughs> I'm just going to... I'm just going to... Might bring him in and whisper. Look for him. a first edition Necronomicon. <laughs> <laughs> he 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 leans in. The book on Kandarian demons, please. Uh, the Wand of Orcus. And you say you're trying to destroy this item? Yes. Would you be interested in selling it to me instead? Yes. I'll take it off your hands for a very fine price. Yes. No, he, he looks over at you, Cos, when he goes. Hands. It's he slinky. looks over at you, Coswin, and he goes, i can offer you a very fine price indeed. What's the price? He looks left, he looks right, and he goes, we'll give you 100,000 for it. <laughs> so here's what we do. Sell the fucker! We sell <laughs> Just the get rid of it! <laughs> we sell the thing to him, then steal it from him. <laughs> Just sell it! Art locks. Art locks. Sell the... Sell. Okay, just sell it. Just sell it. <laughs> it's not our problem. It's not our problem after we sell it. Uh, I've got some business to attend to nearby. I I will return uh, on my way back on on my way back um, home. I, I I need to think about the offer. He looks at you for a second. and goes, "Let me see the item, please." Our locks don't fuck with us here. Come on. Quickly pulls out the Wand of Orcus, puts it back in the bag. He shows, so you show it to him, and he goes, Okay, be about your business. My offer stands. 
And I think we'll end it right there. <laughs> well, thank you all for joining us for this week's D&D. We'll be back next Monday with more. Yes, that's the plan. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, we're just, I mean, I don't think we're going to be, uh, you know, doing the break things until we either get uh, Bob's uh, uh, Star Trek or Roach's Starfinder. Yeah, Starfinder doesn't come out until the 17th, so it's, uh, so, uh, I got a little wise. Mm -hmm. Yep, um, and uh, yeah, we'll uh, see you next week. Sorry that uh, NG Paradox wasn't here. Um, we actually don't know what's up with him um, or where he is. Uh, we will find out, but he should be mm -hmm. here next week, all things good just hope that nothing bad's happened to him i guess um but yeah if you're new to watching the series do go back and check out the rest and uh we will see you next time goodbye <laughs>